This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. This podcast, it's, it's brought to you by HelloFresh. Thank the Lord I above. Know. I can't wait to get to that break. It already feels... It's taking forever, isn't it? Look, let, let me tell you, we've already recorded the ad. And it's a it's a good ad. I we, had, we had we had fun in it. Skip to it if you wanted. This time, Kat. Is anybody going to use it? We don't know, but we had fun with it. That's all that matters. But also, please please use the ad. Please do. Red hot comic book movie news. Shooting up your butthole. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday. With me, as always. At a distance is my co-host Nick Mason. Oh, we are back. We certainly are, Mason. Feels good. Feels good. How was your break? You had a bit of a break this I week? A little bit of a break. Yeah, yeah. you're off but work. I'm, well, well, that's the thing. So I'm at my work. You have to book your leave like a mm. year in advance, like more than a year in advance. Well, they beat you up. I, exactly. Well, they mm. beat you up. They're very <laughs> unforgiving. <laughs> so I feared that, but fortunately I've kind of booked right now. So yeah. I don't have to... For the most part, I don't have to worry about going outside and dealing with the public, which is what yeah. I do, and being infected by the public. It's I almost just, as if you knew. We or, can edit this out, right? Or Comedy Festival. Oh, yeah, that's what's also going to happen. So It's, it's very almost sad. as if Comedy Festival knew. <gasps> I don't know why it would. doesn't matter. This, goes, here, right, this goes right to the top. Whoever runs Comedy Festival? Barry Humphreys. That's a I local knew reference. It. I knew it. People know Dame Ender overseas, right? I don't know. Probably in England, I'd imagine. Okay, if you can imagine. I used to get Dame Ender and the Queen confused when I was a really little kid. <laughs> <laughs> There's not that much difference between them, if I'm honest. No, that's very true. Yeah. If you don't know Dame Edna, mm. imagine a man, like an old man. But stop, wait, do you think you've heard it all? I mean, that's pretty funny in itself. <laughs> yeah. But dressed as a lady. Dressed as a lady. Dressed as a lady. But he's been doing it for like Anyway, the podcast's over because that's peaked. <laughs> that's right. Normally we do an hour plus of content here, but I've just described the funniest situation. <laughs> that's right. So you just just, ah, just laugh from hell. Doesn't get better, does it? No. Doesn't get better. Uh, but just quickly, thank you to those people who watched the Star Wars Duel of the Fates animation that Ethan Taylor Oh, that's Taylor very, put it looks together. very cool. It's incredible. It got put, picked up by a lot of really big sites. Some of them were just like, somebody made this thing. Uh, that's what I noticed mostly. <laughs> it's like some guy some made this. Some dumb fan. <laughs> <laughs> Some I mean, big fucking Star I mean, Wars could, nerd. I mean, you could Google his name and find out the other stuff that he's done. <laughs> but we've decided not to put his name in here because we want to drive you to our website. Yeah, but it looks ama- it looks like it's amazing. It looks like yeah. a stop, like stop, like wooden stop motion I know. puppets that have been but knowing that this was coming and mm. just being like, I just you know, I didn't want to like oversell it. Be yeah, like, right. this looks incredible. In case people are like, case I'd gone mad. Yeah, right. But I was pretty sure that it looked incredible. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was really nice to get that reaction That's great. from people. And well done to Ethan in particular, who banged that out in like a rec- record time. Yeah. I have no idea how he did it. Five years it took him. It took him five years. Still yeah. a record time though, isn't it? That's why they had to abandon that script because he stole it. That, it's his <laughs> fault that episode wow. nine was what it ended so up being. So some guy stole that script. <laughs> some guy. <laughs> some asshole. Don't look into it. No, I don't. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, I'm really happy with that. And yeah, thank you to Ethan and thank you to the people who supported that as well. Because also... Maybe it'll make its money back, which would be so oh, be great because nice. yeah, animation yeah, okay, often yeah. does not. But uh, mm. this one seems, and you never know. You never bloody know. <laughs> That's yeah. true. But regardless, I'm really glad. Of how they can't all out. be the Spider-Verse, can they? You certainly Sometimes can't. you just throw it oh, out there. I should have made the Spider-Verse Sometimes movie. they're just the emoji movie. Did mm. they make money? I think it did, yeah. Okay, right. I think it's on Netflix at the well, moment. They can't be all be the Spider-Verse and the Emoji Movie. <laughs> Two movies that I'm putting together, in, in lumping together in the, the one group. The Emoji Movie didn't. Let me just quickly check that. Okay. Yeah, it um, it made on eighty six million. It made two hundred and seventeen million. So not oh, a lot, okay. But it did make some, maybe. Well, let me just say about that smiley face. But I've sort of put my put my hand underneath, like mm, in the crook of my beard, yeah. like mm, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. We've got some new Disney release dates. You ready for this hot stuff? Yes. Uh, so I don't know if you've heard this, but everything has been pushed back forever. Everything seems to have been pushed back like one one, slate. one movie. Yes. So exactly. Like, so like. Black Widow took the eternal spot, exactly. I think. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we're not just talk, talking Marvel, though. No. Uh, Milan, okay. July 24th of this year. Okay. Uh, it's makes not so it, far away. That's right. Not so far away. The French dis- Dispatch, October 16th. Oh, the Wes, is it Wes Anderson. Is it? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I so, didn't know Disney owned that. Well, it's probably a Fox thing. Okay. Oh, it is, it'll be Searchlight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Marvel's Black Widow, November 6th, which you mentioned mm. is Eternals. Free Guy, December 11th. Okay, yeah. We're looking forward to that one. Mm. Uh, the Eternals, February, which took the spot of uh, Shang-Chi, which is May 7th. Uh, this is next year now. Bob's Burgers, April 9th. i got to watch Bob's Burgers. you seen is it? Is this a Bob's Burgers movie? Yeah. Oh. Have you seen it? Yeah, I have not all of it, but like select episodes. It's very yeah. funny. Yeah, i got to watch it. Uh, Spider-Man 3 has not changed dates because that, that's a Sony joint. 
Yeah, that's July 16th of 2021. Uh Jungle Cruise got pushed back a full year to July 30 of next year. I saw a a clickbait title that was like, The Rock talks about why Jungle Cruise was delayed. (laughs) Same reason everything's delayed. Also, I'm not clicking that. That's the one I refuse to click. Because yeah. I don't want to read 12 paragraphs and it's like coronavirus. Jungle Cruise is based on a, based on a, it's a ride. I don't know if you know, there's a popular Disney ride. It's one of the <laughs> biggest sets in Disney history. Anyway. The Rock answer- you might know from wrestling. But-, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, to answer your question, the boat got marooned. <laughs> Yeah. It go, it's on a sandbank. That's why. That's the only that's reason. That's the only reason. Well, all right. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, November 5th, 2021. Thor Love and Thunder, February 18th, 2022. Indiana Jones was also pushed back a full year, yet again putting into jeopardy Harrison Ford living <laughs> to make that movie. He's, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. I know he will. I'm just saying he could crash a plane. Well, that's, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. No, coronavirus won't get him. Health-wise, but... yeah, he'll be yeah. absolutely fine. Tom Hanks and, and his wife, uh, fully Rita recovered. Wilson, are fully recovered. Yeah. All that crazy shit about them being part of the Hollywood Illuminati and no. all that kind of stuff. No, but let's get into it. Yeah, yeah. So if you go let's to paint a target there's on a our lot backs. of there's a lot of like but he's part of this Hollywood elite Illuminati that's No. I mean, hey, you never know, but no. I, I don't should. Th- I feel like, you know, there there are plenty of people out there where we go, Oh, that person seems nice, and then it turns out they run a sex trafficking ring or something yeah. like that. Like woman the, from small village. Woman from small village, yeah. Uh I don't know what that is. Please don't at me. Yeah, no, uh, that's pretty much what like, it is. I feel like Hanks is kind of bulletproof. Like you would think. Yeah. I mean, not to say I'm, I agree with you. Yes, but then you get like your Bill Cosby's. You get this like, wait, what? That is you true. Know? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's true. Yeah. But you know, you never really know a person. No. Yeah. Again, I sound like I'm agreeing with this, <laughs> and I'm not. I'm very uh-huh. much not. Yeah. Uh, and then Captain Marvel two got a release date of July eighth, twenty twenty two. There you go. We finally got some numbers on that, and that seems to be the phase four. Sounds lockdown. to me like Captain Marvel got bumped because Marvel are not uh, they're not happy with it. You know, That's Brie Larson, yeah, obviously. Yeah. You know, but she's really yeah. real troublemaker. You they know. fired everybody. Fired on that, everybody. Didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> everybody. You know, Kathleen Kennedy. I'm sure yeah, has something involved. to do with that. Yeah. You know? Can you believe it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Of course, I can believe it. The yeah. true fans. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. The true fans. Look, I think it's a case of, after, you know, obviously all the other ones have been moved due to, you know, a quarantine. But I think uh, we all know that Captain Marvel is the actual been, reason. This is the actual that reason. That billion dollar movie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying that didn't get helped by being in between Avengers movies, because uh-huh. obviously it did. It still made a billion dollars. Still made a billion though. dollars, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Just to be clear, I was joking. Were you? Yeah. I was dead serious. Oh, my God. Yeah. About which bit? I don't know. The Tom Hanks Illuminati bit? Whatever, man. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> It doesn't matter at this Look, point. Look, at some point, we are going to run out of content and we are going to have to pivot to bizarre conspiracy theories. Or so. all ads. We'll just do all ads. Just all ads. It's my favourite part of the them, show, yeah. 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 Uh, also, Artemis Fowl. It's about that Boy, kid who's genius just, evil guy or yeah, whatever it is. That's coming out now on streaming on May 29th. Oh. So that I didn't think was ever going to do super well, uh, maybe. Mm. People seem, I don't mind the trailer, but people are upset because apparently the first book he's an actual supervillain and then he turns good. I thought you were going to say an actual chicken. He's a chicken. He's a big chicken. Why would you think I was going to say chicken? His name's Artemis Fowl. Oh, yeah. The w. Yeah, yeah, good point. I didn't so sorry you were saying. I completely tuned out. What were you talking about? So he's like, he's supposed to be a real villain in the first book and then yeah, he right. pivots in the mm-hmm. sequel books. And they're just kind of doing like, well, he's a super villain and then he turns good in the one movie. Oh, okay, so right, I think right. if you want to make, yeah, that's probably, they probably should have done that. Right. They want the redemption arc in the first movie. Yeah. They don't want to spread it out over. Mm. Okay. Right, right, right. I mean, cause you know, it makes sense. Cause they're probably not making another one of these. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. I'd imagine. <laughs> right. I'd imagine. But it's also interesting that books get a pass. Like there, I, I can't recall any parents being, you know, absolutely in uproar because yeah. Artemis Fowl is a villain in his first book and then he has a, you know, he, he turns yeah. around. But it's interesting that the the movies demand, I get, but also- Are you talking I, about comics? What are you talking about? No, mean? I'm talking about the, like the Artemis Fowl books. Yeah. Like nobody, I've never heard a parent- Oh, I go, don't think it's, no, it's outraged that they're not doing what the book is doing, I should point out. No, that's what I mean. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm saying like parents were never outraged when the when the book came out. There were yeah. no parents who were like, this character's a villain, you know, yeah. in this first mo- the first book, I don't care for it, you know. But I don't it's, think it's he's out there. My kid, yeah. He's not killing people. Oh, that's true. You know? He's probably just out there like building a weather machine or something. Yeah, he would be building he's a Superman weather machine. Superman 3 it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. a good movie, I think. Uh, it's not. It's real bad. Yeah. The other thing is uh, there was- You've n- gone isolation crazy. Mate, you are not wrong. Uh, there is no date for the New Mutants. I don't know. We were so close. I've said, I'm, I'm going to say this <laughs> it every was, week. It was, it, it was last week. It was yeah. supposed to happen on yeah, Thursday yeah, yeah. and Friday. So was Cyborg. Yeah. And I'm, where was your post? They were the two. Where was your post, Mason? I did one about coronavirus. I didn't want to double it. <laughs> I didn't want to beat that dead horse that I've already beaten. 
<laughs> but they were they were the two they were the competing yeah the competing movies that that were going to be it was going to be Cyborg versus the New Mutants. I mean, one of them should have moved. They both did. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You get out of time clapping, <laughs> out, an out of time golf clap. <laughs> yeah. So, what? What? What is my question? What yeah. are they? What are they doing with it? I don't know. This is it. This is this. This was this. This was their chance to be like yeah. everybody's stuck inside. Here's the new mutants. Let's yeah. get some new subscribers. We should talk about April Fools as well while we're here because did the you one, see any? The one post that I remember, I'm sure there was other stuff that I think Google didn't do it. They went like, "Your browser's upside down." <laughs> Introducing Google Leaf, it's a leaf, right. whatever. Because people would immediately see Google and go, "Is that a symptom? <laughs> Is my vision going upside down? A symptom? Oh God!" <laughs> There's no time for the answer. I'm going to leap out this window. That's right. But so they are. Uh, so that there was a, a, a web, a Twitter account. Which was it was a fake HBO one, which was a poster for the Snyder Cut. It was like the Snyder Cut's coming. Oh, to HBO I see, Max. right. Mm-hmm. And I mean, you look at that immediately, and you're like, yeah, that's obviously fake. But I'm like, oh, there's no harm in that, whatever. Because mm, yeah. yeah, but I think there were some also some people did some like coronavirus stuff. There was, I think, there was like a K-pop star which said he had coronavirus, and then passed it off as like. This might not be true, by the way. Right, this is what I heard. But pass it off as Don't like... upset the K-pop fans. <laughs> I know. Jeez. Look, like any severe group of fans, you need to just fucking lighten up about whatever your thing is, all right? He's don't doing ta- it. I asked don't take it so seriously. not to do it. Whatever your thing is, you don't have to take it that seriously. I mean, that being said, <laughs> we take weird things very seriously. That's true, yep. Yeah. And then he, w- I tried to play it off like, oh, no, actually, this is just raising awareness of coronavirus and this, you know, and, and make sure you mm. get checked. Because in his post, he was like, I went out and I shouldn't have gone out and now I've learnt my lesson and it's... Oh, I see. Yeah. Right, right, okay. Yeah. So so I guess, all right, I, so I kind of get that, but also I wouldn't put it past some fans of anyone, any yeah. particular group to go... My idol got coronavirus. I should get coronavirus. Yeah, that's right. right? I'll come out of it stronger like he's come out like of it stronger. Yeah, that's right. Mm. With a hit single. You know who I feel bad most bad for? Me? Mr. Peanut. What happened to him? Well, do, you, do you remember? This I mean, was, he died, didn't he? Yeah, well, he died. He died and then and Kobe was, Bryant died. Yeah. And then <laughs> and then this. So out of those two, yeah. which one do you feel sorry for? Just to clarify. Well, I mean, I feel bad for... <laughs> The peanut, I got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't feel bad for Mr. Peanut himself because he's not real. <laughs> and honestly, well, not anymore. in retrospect, I don't feel bad for the Planters Peanut Company either because realistically, yeah, someone famous is going to die during your Mr. Peanut died yes. ad campaign, right? Totally. Maybe it wouldn't be one of the most famous basketball players of all time, but it'd be someone. Yeah. It'd be like... Could be another mascot. Could be well, Ronald McDonald. You think, you think Ronald McDonald... <laughs> Think Ronald McDonald would die and yeah. just just absorb all the goodwill. That's right. Wow. <laughs> wow. Do you, think, do you think McDonald's would be so bold as to kill Ronald McDonald Maybe. and then introduce baby Ronald McDonald? Yeah, little Ronnie McDonald. <laughs> yes. Little Ronnie McDonald. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. <laughs> and then you'd be like, "Sorry, no peanuts allowed at the funeral." Of course. Because, you know, some people yeah. are, are allergic. So. Yeah. But that that whole Mr. Peanut campaign was like a false like Twitter campaign of like paid bots and people to promote this oh, thing. Oh, okay, right. And most right, people right. are like, we fucking hate this. Right. We don't we don't want to engage with it yeah. at all. Well, so it's peanuts. You can get them anywhere. I was going to say. It doesn't matter. Why are these guys the best at peanuts? Here's where you get peanuts. You happen to be at a baseball <laughs> game. Um, you think about how you're not allowed to eat them on an airplane anymore and you go and buy yep. some. You're at a bar. Mm. They're not serving food. <laughs> There's just peanuts. You don't really want chips, but yeah. you don't really want peanuts. Cashews are not available. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because right. I would eat cashews otherwise. I would also eat cashews, yeah. yeah. I don't like mixed nuts either. They're mm. sneaking in some ones there to like, this is no one's favourite. And you are yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You are, you are having a laugh. You are quite absolutely. Frankly. <laughs> Do you think Baby Mr. Peanut was based on Baby Groot? I think it was Yoda. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Okay. But probably Baby Yoda was based on Baby, Baby Groot. Groot. And who was himself was based on the Muppet Babies. Yes, who were based on... Real babies? Real babies, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And real babies based on regular-sized people. <laughs> regular-sized people, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, in other news of things being pushed back, Iron Man VR, which was a PlayStation exclusive, Didn't I know think. that was happening. I, if I had a VR headset, I probably would have got it, but I yep. do not. When no. they're $4 and, <laughs> yep. and nobody has them anymore, I'll get one. When you can get them in a packet of Planters Peanuts, yes. you just crack it open and you've got a VR headset in there. Yum, yum. Probably still not. Probably not even. Probably. Cashews, yeah. though. Oh Mr. Cashew. Mr. Cashew. Hope he's all right. 
Um, the la- and the other one is The Last of Us Part Part 2 was pushed back also indefinitely. So that was coming out in May and I was really looking forward to it. But apparently it's nearly done. Yep. But the rollout for it, because they can't do physical copies the same as digital yep. copies. Can't and do a big Las Vegas opening of yeah, some, exactly. some, some so kind, right? I, like, I get it. I understand. Uh, but it's just, that it sucks a bit. Not as much as Top Gun being pushed back. I was still thinking about Iron Man VR. Yeah. Have we seen anything from that? Yeah, it looks I'd... good. looks good. You're Iron Man. Oh. But... Yeah. You wait, put your arms in front of your face, yeah. the gold, and you, different suits. Different suits, probably. I don't know. I don't know. The Igor suit, the big one. I don't think you get look that Look down, one. look at your big tum. Yeah. Oh, like, ooh. Good stuff. You have a heads up display. Yeah, there's a heads up display. It's all those things. <gasps> it's Iron Man VR. I love it, but I still don't want to pay for a VR headset. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to wait till it's like completely wireless. Yep. And it's mostly flawless. Yeah, right. Which I don't uh-huh. think it's quite there. Like the, the tech of it is still not. Apparently that new Half-Life is quite good. Mm-hmm. It's like as good as it's ever been. The physics is so good. I saw someone could like juggle in the game. Oh, wow. Juggle actual object. That not being actual said, don't, don't you have like gravity gun gloves in that? So I that don't you know. Could probably. Yeah, right. probably. But you can but it's keeping like three or four things in the air That is once. amazing, It's yeah. pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah. With, I mean, with physics and such. Physics and such. Yeah. Uh, so Top Gun was pushed back. Okay. Uh, Candyman was pushed back. Mm-hmm. Rise of Gru was pushed back. Morbius was pushed back. Ghostbusters was pushed back. Look, Morbius is pushed back. It's all over. <sighs> what are we even going to do? Uh, an Uncharted shut down on the first day of filming. <laughs> oh, poor. Poor who? I don't know. Tom Holland? <laughs> they're all rich. It's fine. Of course they're all rich. Poor people on the crew, I yeah, guess. Yeah, exactly. Poor, poor the crew. Yeah, people are probably not being paid for this. So. Or the the one guy in Hollywood who does the CGI mustaches. Exactly. You Poor know? Mark Wahlberg. What's he doing? Bicep know. curls, probably. Probably bicep <laughs> curls. Yeah, That's what he's up to. He's probably he's probably done one of those videos where it's like everything I do in a day, and it's nine hundred things. Yeah. And it's like every moment he's. Sh- any, every moment a normal person would be sitting down, he's doing a bicep curl. <laughs> yes, that's right, yeah. And now he's just got, he's looked at it and he's like, not good enough. I've got to double all the stuff I do in a day. What if I do tricep curls? I'll do, it, I'll do an extension. I'll make it one movement. Is you know that, what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> it doesn't matter. No. Maybe a tricep dip on one arm, bicep curl on the other. Now you've lost You're me. on the back of a chair and you're doing a dip. Is, is he doing burlesque? Is that what you're talking about? Yes, he's, that's what he's doing burlesque. <laughs> Let's move to a different thing. Do you agree? He's doing. I'm, I'm just thinking somebody on the back of a chair and like all that jazz is playing. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. You know, that's what I'm thinking about. So uh, comics didn't come out last week. I don't know if you noticed. No comics. Uh, there was some, but DC and Marvel. This didn't. must be a pretty. Th- this would be a streak broken, I would think. Yes. Uh, so well, DC titles uh, are going to be digitally released. That that were going to be digitally released on April 1st have been pushed to April 29th, and Marvel is pausing one third of its titles for May and June. Which ones? We don't know. Okay, right. So uh, this is from uh, Alanis on Twitter, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod to us. Oh. Do you think the comic book industry will recover after this or do you think digital will be the way forward? Also, will all the talk of trying to get a new Marvel DC crossover by fans, writers, artists and inkers, could this be the help needed to jumpstart the industry? What do you think? So it's either going to ruin the industry or jumpstart the industry. Mm, yes. It's like a real, it's like, it's like an end of the universe, new Big Bang situation. Yeah, I don't think he's saying ruined. Yeah, right. I think they're saying that it will shift enti- almost entirely to digital. I would love to know the numbers on digital to print copy because yeah. yeah. I don't live near a comic shop, so I do all digital. Um, yeah. and, and then every... Oh, look what I found. All of my comics or some of my comics in a box. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I thought I'd given the most away and I'd only given half of them away. Incredible. So I've got some. Um, so yeah, that's a good question. I don't know either. I'd, even with this, it's, it's like saying, oh, the Kindle is going to kill books. Yeah. You know, I, you just want, sometimes you just want to hold a book. Totally. You don't want to have to. I do like the idea of the guided view because it can kind of reveal the story in a different way. Than I kind of w- hate the guided really? view. Really? Yeah. I think if it's done well, you open like a big spread and it kind of, you can keep the reveal oh, okay. of a, an event. Yeah. Until you, Look, I like, I like page by page yeah. until it gets to like a two page splash and mm. it's on your iPad or your tablet or whatever. And then I have to like pinch to zoom yeah. every little bit. So you don't do the you, you don't do the no I do at all. I do full, I do full really? page yeah because I like to go where like kind of the artist and the writer wants you to see oh, okay. and if it's done well I think it can flow really well. It's also one of those things where I think if they went to guided view like everything had to be guided view I would be mad for a day and then I would forget. Yeah, sure, <laughs> just yeah. you, I don't care. Just feed yeah. me the content. I don't care anymore. It also feels longer. Feels like you're on my pages. It's true, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like that eating would, your I would live in fear then. I'd be like, this comic's never going to end. <laughs> <laughs> Is Top Cat going to finally get that fish? No, probably. Wow. Does he ever get the fish? I don't know. He always got a fish skeleton. 
<laughs> yeah. That's all I'm saying. That's true, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, I don't know. Uh, I think, yeah, a, a Marvel DC crossover event might be a good idea to get everybody yeah. back into reading. But and I think we talked about it last week as well. I wonder how much Marvel cares or, like, how much is invested in the the, the print media, the comic, the actual yeah. comic book point of this. Because at this point, it's got to be such a tiny percentage of Marvel's, sure, yeah. you know, income, mm. uh, revenue, but also are they separate businesses? I'm sure there is an answer to that, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's it. That is, yeah. I'm, I'm sure they are. Mm. I'm sure there's like, I, I'd imagine yep. that digital, you would probably get more money because you're not paying any printing fees. That's true. Yeah, and you just get yeah. six bucks for comic right, right. Or whatever you charge. But I, I also wonder if it's like, it, you know, if if print and digital aren't making any money, mm. do they have to then go to Marvel Studios and sort of ask for a handout, or is it kind of assumed that well, we'll 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 mm. sort you out just because we're all in the same. Yeah, right. Okay. Or is it the kind of the Disney thing of like you're not making any money, so comics are done forever. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. Well, they own. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out because they own yeah. Marvel Comics. So. And that's. I mean, this is this is also. I. I can't. I, I think it might have been Dan Olson on Twitter this week who mm. said something like, "What what this whole movie industry shakeup is probably going to do is just put more properties in the hands of Disney." Why, why, why does he say that specifically? I think just it's just because they're buying up stuff. Yeah, because they'll probably just start buying up stuff. Yeah, right. Like, like movie movie production houses that well, aren't making any AMC, money. AMC, like I know movie chains are like could be going under. And, yeah, right. Yeah. And who's going to buy them? Disney. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. You, and then, I mean, already Disney have a monopoly on a lot of movie theaters and have you need to have this showing on, you know, the maximum amount of screens, which pushes out more indie films. And, you know, mm. there are, there's are there been deals like that yep. that have been done in the past. And once again, we would want to make, we do want to make clear that if Disney gives us enough money, yeah, we, we will say anything, say literally anything, anything they want about, yeah. about Disney. Doesn't matter. Yep. Or anybody else. Or we'll, you know, if they threaten us, we'll stop, we'll stop criticizing Disney. That's obviously. fine too. No, we'll do yeah. whatever. <laughs> we'll do whatever. We don't care. Yeah. 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 Disney, are like the sun, like I fear Disney more than I fear the sun. Like, yeah, you right. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I won't lie in front of a Disney for too long. No, don't, the look, way I wouldn't, you, don't, don't look, don't look the mouse Disney. directly in the eyes. Exactly. You'll go blind. <laughs> uh, here's some good news, though. Oh. Here's some stuff that's not cancelled. You excited for this? Yes. Great. Uh, actually, this first one is. John oh, Kasdan. Uh, he's, John Kasdan's cancelled? No, well, no, he's not. Oh, he, said, he spoke about, he wrote Solo and had a hand in the new Indiana Jones film. Uh-huh. He was asked on Twitter by Marco Tomato. Great name. <laughs> Uh, you got any updates on a solo sequel or are you completely uh, locked in with Indy 5? And John says... And also, are you interested in any aliens that might look like a tomato? <laughs> any actors you have in mind? Because, I mean, you know... Yeah. Marco um, Tomato's here. You know where I am. Yeah. <laughs> Do, uh, John said... John Kasdan I'm in this said, planter box. <laughs> don't think anybody's pursuing a solo sequel at the moment. I think a feature at this point will be a tough sell and the Disney Plus uh, Star Wars slate is pretty packed. All of the shows... All shows I'm looking forward to. You also fears Disney like us. Mm, Smart. That's right. Uh, my workload in India is long over, but I'm excited there's forward movement. I'm not surprised there's no solo sequel, but this is just confirmation that that movie did not yeah. make enough mm-hmm. money yeah, yeah. to warrant even a... I, I, look, I wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me if characters from that show up in sequel and prequel series yeah, and right. things like uh-huh. that. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, you, you, sh- you throw an olden Iron Reich in the Cassian Andor prequel or whatever is happening sure, in that yeah. show. Mm-hmm. But yeah, a straight solo sequel at this point, very unlikely. Yeah. 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 And then that movie was, they made it. That's, yes. That's all right. Till they run out of ideas, then solo sequel. Then it's back. Yeah. It's back. It's, yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the things that aren't cancelled though. Okay. I'm now we're into that for real. Okay. Uh, San Diego Comic Con is still on for July 2020. Okay. Cool. You could not pay me to attend that fucking thing. Now. Any year. Any year. Let alone <laughs> this, this year. year. Right. Uh-huh. It's like two months out. Yeah. Even if things ramp down, yeah. which could very well happen with social distancing and, you know, one would hope in so. place. You go to that place, yeah. it's going to be a fucking Petri dish of Mind that shit. Are you kidding yeah. me? Yeah. They're going to have to shut it down, right? Yeah. Or cosplay only. You've got to put <laughs> yeah, a mask sure. on. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Cosplay only Zoom meeting. Comic That's con. Right. Exactly, yes. There's 300,000 people <laughs> the at Zoom. a Zoom conference. Yeah. Would you go to that? No. Next year? Maybe. I think we have to do it one year. Okay. I don't, I don't want to, and I don't yes. want to line up for anything because I'm too old for that shit just to yep. watch a trailer that either goes online or I'll see it in a couple of months. Like, I'm, I don't, yeah. mm-hmm. I don't know is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, the other thing is Rick and Morty's is back for, at May three for That's the back right. half of the season. Yeah, looks good. More it's very uh, and little little samurai pizza cats reference. Maybe. Oh my goodness! I mean, it's sort of very very kind of Japanese. Yeah, Gundam Gundam style. Gundam style. K-pop. Uh, Gundam style. Uh, look, looks exciting. I mean, we just get sort of the action beats yes. in this. We don't really know. We can't really tell what the what family the dynamic and whatever. Yeah, and we don't. Yeah. We don't really see what the overarching plot is, if there even is one. Probably, I'd say. Yes, they're gonna have to do the evil Morty at some point. Maybe right? They never will come back to maybe it. Maybe they'll. Maybe it'll appear on a list. Yeah. Many years hence of like one of those on the dangling plot threads from uh, your favorite threads. cartoon or whatever. Yeah. Good question. Uh, the other thing is Ryan Reynolds is going to star in a live action Dragon's Lair movie. <laughs> yeah, right. Remember that yes, game that's yes. impossible to beat? Yes. That just chews money, just yes. eats money? Yes. Yeah. So that was known for its very stylish and cool animation, right? Yes. It was never released as a film, I assume. No, although I remember watching. Was there a, a tape? Was there must there a have been a cartoon because I saw it on TV once as a kid. Yeah. So maybe, but I, I also wonder if maybe that was a, it was just the various animations yeah. compiled together into a short. I'm just looking to see if that's the case, and there we Don go. Don Bluth was that the guy who yeah, created it? You're yeah, you're probably right. Mm, Don Bluth, you know him? I mean, only by reputation. You know him? He made Dragon's Lair. Yeah, it is Don Bluth. There nice, you go. Nice, nice. So home versions. Here we go. So yeah, there were side scrollers and iOS versions, and doesn't seem to be. There's a Game Boy version. Oh, that must be horrible. Yeah, <laughs> it might be better. I think that one is just like a straight ahead. But the, I know the side scroller one is an impossible side scroller. Yeah, right. It's like more. It's harder than the actual because it doesn't play well. Yeah, like it looks all right, but it's yeah. It's apparently it's just an atrocious game. Mm. I think that's all the news though. Is that all the news? Oh no, you had an Ant Man bit of news you were telling me. I about. had two. Well, I had two. Oh, a couple of bits of news. Well, I mean that's news. that's related to that's related to Rick and Morty because uh, yeah, the perfect segue and you didn't take it. How's oh that my feel? god, I should have just gone with it. Oh no, we got other stuff. We got trailers. As yeah, well, so, uh, the, yeah, the 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 writer who's been tapped to write Air Man 3 is Jeff Loveness, mm. uh, who uh, was uh, has, has written many things. He's written comic books and he's written some episodes of Rick and Morty. Do you know which ones? Comic books? No. No, but we could look it up. He wrote uh, 2017's Nova Resurrection, which is uh, new Nova meets old Nova. What are they Very like? Good. They, get, they get along. That's fun. It's, it's, it's really yeah. good. Uh, he, wrote some, he wrote Guardians of the Galaxy Groot. Oh, cool. Uh, he wrote... Strange Skies Over East Berlin, which I think is an indie comic that I that I have not gotten to. Oh, but, yuck. Uh, yeah. I should. I love a good indie comic. Yeah. Real good. Real nice. Terrific. Okay. Well it seems yeah. like he's got a he's got a good handle on many, many things, doesn't he? That is true. Mm. Very true. <laughs> and a bit of sad news, because why wouldn't we uh wind up with oh, bring some it down, sad news? Please. Is um Adam Schlesinger, the, yes. uh, the a member of Fountains of Wayne, mm-hmm. he passed away this, he did. this month. Yeah. Now. Uh, from the virus, the coronavirus, yeah, yeah. which is very sad. Uh, he is probably he's best known, obviously, for Stacy's mom, yes, the song. She got uh, Fountains of Wayne, which uh, a band a lot of people really enjoy. Uh, mm. But also, he wrote that thing you do, the yes. song from that thing you do, which is incredible. I mean, if it just if you if you just got, got, go on Twitter and look up his name, that everybody's got like great stories about him. He he also wrote a lot of the songs for um, my crazy ex girlfriend. All oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah right. But, he, but but I think. His skill as a songwriter is that he wrote the song That Thing You Do, yes. which is a song that is meant to be like a Beatles-esque greatest song in the world. Yes. Like you have, it's, it's like writing a stand-up comedian doing comedy in a yeah. movie or a TV show and actually making that funny. Yeah. It's hard to, and it's hard to write a song. Yet It has to be a song that is good enough and catchy enough that you, you would you believe, believe that, that yeah. it could be the greatest, most popular song in the world. Yeah. Which and is, it's good. It is. I love that that thing. I you gotta do. watch that movie again. I love that thing you do, James. What's what specific thing? Slowly go mad in a room. <laughs> I'm good at it, aren't <laughs> it I? Is so good. I feel like I've been dragging it out a bit much, haven't I? I feel like I've got to go off the cliff at some point. It's been like five, no. six years. No, <laughs> no, no. You don't no. think it's getting old? No, no, no. What you have to do is you have to go right up to the edge of that cliff mm. and then bottle it all back down again. <laughs> just really, yeah. just really tamp it down. Yeah, okay. yeah. And then I think you could go like another six or seven years, and then and then d- doubly bad, maybe. Or yeah, pack it back down again, <laughs> pack it back down again, like a coiled spring, like a coiled spring, exactly. Yeah. Uh, he wrote Claw and Horde, a special Rictum's Morty, which is the the dragon episode. Yeah, right. And uh-huh. he's also writing some upcoming ones as well. Cool. Uh, episode six, seven, eight, or one of because you know there's many. Different people involved in yes. different episodes of that show. So there you bloody there go, you bloody mate. go, exactly. Trailers ahoy! <laughs> Perfectly in sync, as always. <laughs> uh, Train to Busan Peninsula, 
August 2020 uh, from director Yon Sang Ho. Uh, have you seen the first train to Busan? No, it was on the TV the other day, the actual free to air TV, but I had to go out and get something to eat. Just watch it. Okay. It's so right. great. It's probably it's one of the best zombie movies of all time. Yeah, right. And it's on a train. No. It's it takes place in Busan. There's no trains in it. That's the thing. Wow. <laughs> yeah. No, obviously there is a train. There's uh-huh. also a prequel movie directed by the same guy, yes. uh, which is animated, oh. which I also would like to watch. It's called Plain Old Busan. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens in it. <laughs> Regular day Busan. Mm. So, yeah, trailer looks great. It's set in a different, like, four years after. Yep. I guess a bit the way, like, 28 days later, 28 weeks later, and that kind mm. of vibe, I guess. Well, you just had to top it, didn't you, Busan? Yeah, they really you did. Later. All right. And that's cool. And then off the back of that, if we're talking the end of the world... Jerry Butler's Greenland. Oh, I didn't watch the trailer. Should well, I watch it right now? Yeah, I'll sure. I'll watch it right now. All right, I'll pause it. Okay. I'm going to watch it again too. Okay, great. Oh, my God. What kind of vague American accent do you think he's got, Mason? The working man. <laughs> We're back and Mason's we, got thoughts. We watched it and it sucks. <laughs> I agree. Yes. Maybe it's because I'm going mad, but I'm like, yeah, I'll watch that, definitely. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah. And, and because and you I'm really love anti, Geostorm. I'm the anti, you know, I'm not that guy either. I hate. Geostorm. Movies. You hate Geostorm. I hate the Geostorm movie yeah, specifically. Geostorm specifically. Yeah. But this one, I don't know. There's something Is this about coming it. out soon? Surely not. <laughs> Why you even release this trailer? I feel it's in poor taste to have an end of the world movie. What? You think you're a bit of a snowflake, Mason? You bloody, if you can't handle it, Mason. That's bloody, a really good point. Yeah. yeah. Whatever the people say in these situations. Also, yeah. you know, this time of year, right now with what we're all going through, another, another Gerard Butler movie? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> June 11th, 2020. Oh, yeah, as if. Get out of here. As what are you if. talking about? I'm not leaving the, my house for that. You know what they're doing? They're What's rolling that? the dice. They're thinking movie theatres might be open by then. Yep. We'll go earliest release date, and if it doesn't happen, they'll push it back. Yeah, that's probably true. Or they'll cancel it forever and we'll all forget. Yep. Or they'll release it on streaming, maybe? Yeah, sure. Yeah. It looks like it could easily do any of those things. Anyway, this is Armageddon if some if some asteroid pieces hit, hit the ground. Do you mean so. Deep Impact? Yes, that's what that's what happened in Deep Impact. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Also, I look. I think maybe we've mentioned it in previous weeks, but I think at this point, you should not be allowed to release a disaster movie if there isn't a scene where, once the danger has been established, mm. there's not a scene where everybody frantically goes to the supermarket and like buys all the toilet paper. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. yeah, you want to make it realistic, don't you? Yeah. And then then Gerard people... Butler goes to the supermarket with his family mm. and he the, just the, the shelves are bare. Shits the toilet pants. paper. Yeah, Shits that's right, he does. Yeah. And the, yeah. And he can't do the rest of the movie. Can't do the movie. He's embarrassed. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He's like, just leave me. <laughs> just leave me. And oh this my featured goodness. the guy who plays Stick. Yeah, the Daredevil. It's not David Carradine, right? The other guy. I, yeah. My moment. My I had a moment here. Where I'm like, how old is this movie? When did they make this? Is, was David Carradine still alive when they made it? But maybe, maybe. Uh, Stick Daredevil, right? Yeah. What's his name again? Can't remember. He's in everything in the world. Yeah. Scott Glenn. Okay. Yeah. Well, good. Good for you, Scott Glenn. Who played Stick in Terrence Stamp? I'm like, did he play Stick? Who played in the Stick d- in Terrence Stamp? <laughs> I assume he's registered medical practitioner. <laughs> I was thinking for a second that Scott Glenn also played Stick in like a lecture in Daredevil, the oh, movie. Oh, right. But no. No. I'm just me- mixing up things in my head. I saw renewed rumours that uh, Daredevil is going to be in Spider-Man 3. Which Charlie site? Cox. I don't know. One of them. One of Maybe them. Screen Rant. I don't know. Great. It's a good one. Yeah. Mm. That being said, I looked at the traffic for that animation I did. A lot of it came from Screen Rant. So good for Screen yeah. Rant. Mm. You know, I nearly did videos for Screen Rant at one point. And then what happened? Uh, they said, no, thank you. Like, we were in, this, this was years ago. So you were nearly going to do it in your own mind. You no, know, yes. No, I, yeah, I should say. So they, oh, I, maybe I contacted them. It was probably that. Uh-huh. But uh, to, 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 to do videos. Yes. And it was around the same time I started doing videos at Comic Book Movie. Mm-hmm. And they were like, oh, we're going to go in a different direction. So, you know, Screen Rants, you know, their videos, they're all like 10... Green lanterns and whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not even the comic book character. It's 10 lanterns we painted green. Yeah. They're in our garden. So, yeah, which is probably a wiser thing because they get millions of views and mine are just like, what if Anthony Kudavides was in a supermarket? <laughs> yeah. <Right. laughs> no. so. They were like, listen, we love your work and we would love to bring you on as part of the Screen Rant family. Now, are you at any point going to go mad? <laughs> <laughs> Can you do this consistently for, for a decade? Just, just lists of things, and you're like, I cannot in good conscience promise that I will not go mad. <laughs> yeah, they definitely. Uh, thank ma- you and good day. Yeah, they definitely made the right call. 
Oh, it's time to take a break, Mason. An ad break. Thank goodness. Oh, my God. What a relief. That's what the world needs right now. Advertising. <laughs> Agreed. Well, especially this advertising because HelloFresh, Mason, they offer so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut, which I'm sure many of us are in right now. Oh, absolutely. See, before this, I was about to make fun of the ad. And then I'm like, <laughs> no, that's that's good, actually. <laughs> don't leave your house. Get this. There's more to the ad, but honestly, if yeah, you, yeah this is fine. don't we leave the try- house, order HelloFresh. Yeah, I think it, is the- it's linked below. You could just do that at Terrific. this point. But yeah, there's something for everybody, including low calorie, vegetarian, family friend. Family-friendly recipes every week, and the average trip to the grocery store, which, quite frankly, is quite perilous at the moment. Oh, my God. It takes 41 minutes, and that's over 35 hours a year if you go once a week. So, yeah, and obviously there are now other factors also. There definitely is. There's a, there's a definite other fact that you don't want, you don't want that anymore. I really don't. HelloFresh has pre-proportioned ingredients. That means there's less prep. And less food waste, which is mm-hmm. perfecto, I believe. And you can easily change your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need. It's also America's number one meal kit. Is it really? That's Good what it says, yeah. Well, now it's going to be America's number one A-plus meal kit. Wow. Because everybody's getting on board. Don't leave your house. Don't leave your house. I knew it. <laughs> Here's some good examples of great foods. I'm ready. Chicken pineapple quesadillas. Well, I mean, that does sound good, but you can't get that on HelloFresh. Mason, yes. I wasn't just naming a meal, meal at random. That That's sounds like what you, it sounds like what you were doing. <laughs> you could also get, I picked this one just for you, sunny side up burgers with bacon, gouda, and smoky potato hash. You think I'm just a burger guy? Because I am. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I don't I just I thought that's the the rut that we fell into. I name a burger. I, I did half a brick if it was between two brioche <laughs> buns, but luckily that one sounds more delicious. Terrific. Uh, you can actually go to hellofresh.com slash weeklyplanet10 as in one O and use the code weeklyplanet10 for ten free meals, including free shipping. That's a tremendous amount of meals. <laughs> yes, it is. Right? It's cray. And Not crayfish. No. I mean, maybe there'll be some at some point. But, but if that's lunch and dinner, you don't have to leave the house for five days. No, that's... you really don't. That's HelloFresh.com slash WeeklyPlanet10 and use code WeeklyPlanet10 for 10 free meals, including free shipping. It's a perfect time to do it. It's linked below. Some people are getting in shape. You could do the calorie smart. Some people are just blowing out. It's do whatever makes time. you happy, man. No, no one's seeing you, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> do it. Do either. Do either. All right, I'm with the show. I'm with the show, I reckon. Uh, good. Oh, mm. Good break, though, right? Oh, Feels my good. God, yeah. Just to stretch the pipes. Break, break from the content, you know? Ugh. <laughs> and we're back. We're back. What an not, ad. Well, not only... I know, right? <laughs> if you didn't listen to the ad, if you're the kind of person who skips the ad, you you're missing skip the out. Ad. You're missing out. Yeah, on great, and a great deal as well. Yeah, yeah. it is a great deal. I, <laughs> we, we need it now more than ever. Great. So... Every year, I feel my very tenuous knowledge of Harry Potter slips further and further from my <laughs> grasp. Yep. And that was none more evident than watching the two Harry Potter movies we are up to at our famous, we watch two Harry Potter movies every two years and talk about we it. D- we haven't done this in two years, yeah. Yeah, because there hasn't been a Magical Beasts. Where are they at? That's true. Case, obviously. They were, they were in the case. So just, uh, the whole just, time. just don't open the case. Just don't open the case. So keep them fed, obviously. One of them's It's been pointed out to me in since we've done the Harry Potter yeah. Uh, the the any any of the Fantastic Beast movies. They're in the, where are they? They're in the case. Don't open the case. Yeah. The case even has a little switch on it. Mm. You push the little switch. Yeah. And then you open the case. Yes. And there's they can't get out. Yeah. So just keep that switch. Yeah. Oh, switch yeah. Good switched. point. The it's fake, a really good point. The fake kind of. Yeah. The fake. The false bottom in the case. Yeah, cool. Just keep the false bottom there. All right. I will. If I'm ever writing or in one of those movies. If I'm the actor in that movie, I'll be like, listen to me. (laughs) I'm not doing this. So he went through customs and then clearly he went, well, the false bottom worked. Now switch off the false bottom. (laughs) Yeah. What an idiot. What an idiot. Now I want to be clear about this because we watched Harry Potter 5 and 6. So Order of the Phoenix and the Half-Blood Prince. Yes. Some cabin- AKA the ones where they stop messing with Harry Potter's hair. They're just like, this is his look now. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> just, we're just oh, that's with right. Because in the previous, he had like a big long, yeah, like a long situation. He had the he had, had the, a Noel Gallagher or something. He had the rigs from Lethal Weapon. Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Late era rigs from Lethal Weapon is yeah, what he had. Yeah. Um, look, the the caveat is, I know they're movies for children, <laughs> and we all grew people grew up on them. Yep. And you you can enjoy them but we're going to go hard on these movies. <laughs> Big time. Also, not only that, we're yes. going to get a lot of this wrong. Oh, yeah, for sure. 100%. So, and a lot of the stuff that I'm going to complain about, I'm sure, has a rational explanation. Pottermore. That is based on a tweet. existing law or J.K. Rowling has since come out and said, well, the reason for that is this. Mm. 
I don't care. I'm seeing these <laughs> movies divorced of context years after the previous movie came out. Yep. Years after I've seen any of the prior ones. Sure. I don't care. Yep, that's right. All the information should that is needed yeah. should be in each movie. Agreed. Mm. I will say this of this movie. I was not looking forward to starting these again. I'm yes. like, I am fucking not in the mood for these this week. Like, at all. <laughs> I've been... I've been banging out Fantastic Four movies. Oh, yeah. It hasn't been a good time, right. if I'm honest. With, this is no time for another <laughs> franchise. Yeah. So, that being said, this is the one that I feel be- is better than the book definitively. Order of me. the Phoenix. Yeah. Number five. That's a very long and dull, nothing happens book. Okay, right. Until the end where a significant... Spoilers, by the way. For, yeah, the Harry for Potter movies. For every direction in Harry Potter. Yeah. Except for the the new play, we, yeah. I won't talk about the yeah. new play. Yeah. Every the the all the movies, all the books, Fantastic Beasts, yeah, probably the cookbook if there is one. Yep. Mm. Whatever house you're in, yeah. Snaggle right. Snaggle Bluff. Snavel Snaggle Bluff. <laughs> you're Snaggle Bluff. <laughs> they're probably the Monopoly. Yeah, if there's, probably, a, if there's exactly. a Monopoly, you know, we're go spoiling s- that. Go straight to Diagon Alley. Yep. Now you'd go to Dementor's prison, wouldn't you? You'd go to Dementor's prison, <laughs> yeah. You'd lose your sanity. <laughs> I had a question about Dementor's start right off the bat. <laughs> sure. Look, I've written many notes. We may go in order, we may not. My first note just says Shiny Dudley. <laughs> <laughs> because at the start of this movie, Dudley shows up. Like Harry Potter's just kicking it in a in a playground, I think. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Cedric has just died, by the way. He's oh, that's also right. cut his yeah. hair. He's not happy with it. Yeah, if he's but honest. anyway, Sh- Dudley, his his cousin, shows yeah. up, uh, and he's with his mates, and he's very shiny. Yeah. It must have been the style at the time, but well, he's wearing some very shiny workout gear in the book. Big baggy shorts in the book, and I think this is the time when it started. Also, I, I think this in the, he gets more. He starts doing boxing. And Harry I think, does or Dudley does? No, no, does? Dudley does. Oh. And so he becomes like a local bully. And I think this, I, bearing in mind, I haven't read this book in 15 years. Yeah, right. So okay. uh-huh. I, don't, I don't really remember. But what I loved about his mates are he's like this pack of bullies. Yeah. As with a lot of like real life bullies, they're just a pack of fucking drop kicks, mate. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? They're not yeah, like yeah. super cool. Yeah. They're mismatch and schlubby and like one's like a little rat one. <laughs> one's got bleached hair for no reason. Yeah, and yeah, it's just yeah, like yeah. this crew of fuckwits. Yeah. Right. You know? So, but, but basically they, uh, Harry and Dudley have like kind of a, kind of a stoush mm. and then, and, and Harry threatens Dudley with his wand, which he yeah. can't do in this cause he's out in public or what have you. Yeah. And then all these clouds form and then some dementors attack. Big time. Big time. So my guess, my question is. Sure. What's with the race itself? Does that come up later? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I, guess really. my, I guess my question is, that, do they steal your soul? What's going on there? Yeah, so they suck the soul out of you. Okay, but if that process is interrupted, mm. does your soul go back, yeah, in, your back in your body? It does yeah. go back in your body. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. you just, doesn't get a bit of it. You don't go out for the rest of your life with, or is it like your liver? Does your soul <laughs> grow back slowly? No, no, I think there's, in other movies, you see it go back in. Uh, Which movie? Who's to say? But <laughs> you do see it go yeah. back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're a fan of the Dementors? Yeah, I love them. Love their work. I like the idea in this that there's just this absolute shit show of a bureaucracy just ruining everything. Because they're operating, they're, the Dementors aren't. They're not supposed to leave Azkaban. And they're Dementor not, prison, sorry. Right, and they're not. Right. I know that. I Harry know everything Potter about Harry Potter. And the prisoner of Dementors prison. <laughs> right. So, so these Dementors, they're not, they're not uh, Voldemort's. Henchmen. No, they run they, by, they uh, often are. Yeah, yeah, but they're run by ostensibly the good guys. These are the good yeah. guys monsters. Yeah, they stop. So there's never been a breakout of Azkaban except for Sirius Black because mm-hmm. he turned into a dog and ran out. Right. And uh-huh. they were like, we don't know what this we is. We did not factor this in. Yeah. We did not factor in a, ma- a magician who has incredible <laughs> powers in every every sphere of, of magical acumen. We, did, we didn't factor he might turn into a dog. Yeah, but the thing is about... Our force fields work on everything except a, a dog, apparently. <laughs> but the thing is... There's going to be a lot of that this episode. If there's a dog, yes. right? Yeah. If people turn into animals, you have to legally register... Oh, and, if you can turn and into Harry a dog. Potter's dad, who turns out terrible, terrible bloke, uh-huh. him and his mates did it, and they didn't register with the government, so uh-huh. they don't know he can do that. Right. To this book, and but it's his a, credit. he's a criminal. <laughs> a lot of criminals don't register their crimes. I don't know if you're aware of that. You know what they should do? They should put him in that weird acid pit that they have in that other movie. Right? <laughs> Remember that acid? Yeah, pit? Yeah, the the acid pit. Where do you mean in Fantastic Beasts? Yeah, where, where they just you, kill him on a whim. If you import it, yeah, exactly. If you import an animal, they'll. <laughs> Give me the acid, the acid 
The acid There's no trials. No. To the acid pit. Look, we're going to Harry get Potter in- and Ron falls in an acid pit. Look, Did you watch that movie? We're going to get into it because I have made notes, and I think that the question is obviously the level of crimes for which you get executed, and the level. Or of- they'll strip away your magic abilities. Or the level of cr- level of crime where you just get a slap on the wrist. It's it's all over the place. Yeah. For example, here Harry Potter saves his cousin from the Dementors by using his his spells. Yes. And so he immediately gets expelled yes. from, from Hogwarts. Yep, by a screaming letter. By a screaming letter. But first of all, Dudley was unconscious because yes. his soul had been pulled out of his body. Yes. So he wouldn't have seen it happening. Well, he can't see it anyway because oh. they're invisible. To But he would see the spell. Yeah, I guess he would. But, but that's the thing. Like there were no other... There were no other witnesses. No, there was. There was that old woman. But she's on board, right? Yeah. She's cool. But it's, it's the point is it's the bureaucracy. Right, Because yes. he's already probably infiltrated a lot of the Ministry of Magic. And Voldemort. Then you got, yeah. And there's, a, and there's a lot of, there's Death Eaters in there. Right, and right. there's a lot of people at the top who are completely oblivious who, or who don't want to believe he's back. And they're I just think, rule followers. Yeah, but I think there's also, I think it's pretty, you know, because there is, there's multiple global crises happening. Yes, right. And there's a lot of people who are in power who are just like, no, no, it's not. Yeah, right. <laughs> so yeah. to me, that, I can't relate to that yeah. on any level. <laughs> so that makes a lot of sense to mm. me. Like, or they pin this shit on a kid to divert attention. Yeah. From what's actually happening. So, but what happens obviously is first of all they just go, "You're expelled." Yeah. And then they're like, "Oh, but there's going to be a trial later." Yes. Expulsion is like if you're a guy who like just just I'm doing I'm doing a lot of wand waving. Sure, okay. People can't tell out there. But if you're a guy who want if you're a kid who wantonly uses magic in an illegal manner and they expel you, yeah, you're just gonna go and do do magic. No, you're not allowed to. They'll arrest you. So ha- Hagrid, right? Yes, he's technically not allowed to do magic, but he does magic. He does probably. magic. Remember, he gives Dudley a pigtail in the first yes. movie. I don't know if you not not in the hair in his yeah. butt out of his butt. Oh yeah, yeah. So if you do, if you remember Chamber of Secrets, yes, remember that. That big spider that died in this movie. Yes. The Ron's like, oh, that's mine, is it? It was in another movie. Probably yeah, yeah. that movie also. Mm-hmm. Hagrid brought that into the school when he was a student and it escaped, right? Oh, yes. And he got blamed for the first Chamber of Secrets, the snake killed everybody in the school, uh-huh. right? That's why Hagrid can't use magic. Hagrid you know looking, should be- You know what I'm looking forward to in this episode? <laughs> Eventually you start- you, make, you do so many explanations for a Harry Potter movie that eventually something clicks in your brain and you're like, this is all insane. It is insane. Yeah. I don't disagree with that. So, But then he's still allowed to work on the grounds because Dumbledore kind of... Right. But at the same time, Hagrid, if they thought he did that, which most people do, mm-hmm. should be in jail. Right. Because he released let, a monster. That's what, I, that's, they what think. that's what I'm saying. You go, oh, you, you're expelled. So now you're a guy who has some magical training yeah. and you're just out in the world. The other thing about magic is... You blow a thing up. The other thing about magic is, depending on the situation, you can't tell who did it. You right? can just tell the wand in the area, I think. Oh, I have many questions about that. <laughs> there will, will follow, be follow-ups. And look, your answer's going to be because they needed the plot to go forward. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Why didn't this happen? Because plot. That's, that's basically, blood. yeah. Big spider. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's a question for you, though. Yes. Do you actually like these movies? Kind of. Yeah, because I do. I like the actors. Yeah. yeah. I think they're... I, think I watched they're... a video of Emma Watson getting stuff out of her handbag. <laughs> cool. Because I'm like, she's interesting. Yeah, she's got stuff going on. Yeah. She went to university like a normal person. That's right. Daniel Radcliffe seems not insane yeah, somehow. Yeah, I watched his, his, like, you know, list of roles. I like it's, his show. It's, yeah. It's good. He's, he's, they're all compelling. They're good. Yeah. I also think Dolores Umbridge is a great villain. Yeah. It's also, well, you love to hate her, don't you? Yeah. It's also a weird universe where, like, you can literally torture a child in a school. It's all very vague, isn't it? In the books. If anything, I- that weird acid room should probably be, you know, reserved for people who torture children. <laughs> yeah. But if you've got a teaching degree, I guess it's fine. In the book, and I can't remember whether it's the movie, Harry has a permanent scar from that. Oh. He's got, like, a shiny white scar from yeah, right. writing that into his hand. Also, if that was me, I'd be like, fuck you. No. Right? Like, well, there's no situation where a teacher could make somebody do I that. I had a note here, like, because she, she, she gives him a, a pen, and when you write things with the pen, it, 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 it engraves itself on your flesh, and that's the, that's the punishment. But I've written here, he gives her the pen, he gives Harry the pen, and he goes, You haven't given me any ink. Yeah. <laughs> Harry, how long have you been at this magical school? <laughs> what, do you, what do you think's happening here? <laughs> It's obviously a magic. Everything in this place is magic, Harry. It's amazing to me, though, that this. Why are you still surprised by magical <laughs> things, mundane things being magic? You shouldn't be. But that is surprising because why do they use ink? Right? It should be a magic 
never ending ink pen or a regular pen. Why do they go places and like go to work? Like they they were all they they all just funnel themselves into a subway. Or well, that's a that's a very apt metaphor, isn't it, Mason? Mm, yeah, really makes you think, doesn't yeah. it? When they could. You know, they Work could use from magical Zoom, but, yeah, which is that, an actual Zoom. It zooms you to work. <laughs> it zooms you to your office. Or you just yell out of a fireplace. Yeah. Your face yeah, is yeah. in a fireplace yeah. and you're like, ah, Johnson, you need to get this to whatever. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. I have I have a note about that. Are we doing movies one at a time or are we doing... Doesn't matter. Okay. So uh, so it's weird that the ministry... Because um, so she has the ability to fire staff, right? Yeah, and right. she fires the woman who... Uh, you can see the future. Oh, I have the note here. It says, mm. if you can communicate through a fire, why can't you eavesdrop on the fire through a coffee table? <laughs> right? He's like, I'm, a... he's like, I'm going, I'm using the uh, serious black. Yeah. He's like, I'm using s- secret magic to, to because people n- n- uh, communicate with you and it's a secret. But, I mean, if, if the, the Harry Potter's under suspicion, yeah. you just magic the coffee table or whatever. Yeah. Or a painting or something. You put a guy in a painting. Well, they can do that, yeah. And then but th- because of the You plot. can have a painting on... You can have dual paintings, right? Yeah. And, a, and they can travel from one painting to the other and they can be on the opposite sides of the world. So, yes. Yes, right. You are correct. I am correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of ways to listen. You've got a long ear on a string. Yep. Whose ear was that I've written here? Uh, it's, it's, it's this one... <laughs> Well, one of the Weasleys loses an ear. Do you think that's his ear? <laughs> Not yet. Oh, but, uh, but time turner, maybe it is. Yeah, maybe that's the. I mean, it'll it'll happen eventually. I Somebody f- be like J.K. Rowling, whose ear is this? And they'll be like, it's he went back in time and he left his ear there. I think Fred and George, when you know when they escape and they do that big prank, yes, and they smash all the the signs down, all the decrees that yep that uh, Weasley Wormface puts up, or whatever yes. his name is. What's his name? <laughs> Slitch. Flinge or something. Flinge or bilge. Flitch? Filge. Yeah. Bilge. Bilge. Bilge filge. The guy from Game of Thrones. Yeah, that guy. And they they torture Dolores Umbridge with a big fake dragon and they explode everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. They should be in jail. They should be in jail. <laughs> like They, it's they not just a, went and opened a shop. It's not an illusion. It's like things blow up. Yeah. Like, like rock is coming off the wall. Side note, there is a bit in this where, where Umbridge, mm. she knows that a bunch of kids are in a room yeah. and she just blows up the wall. Yes. She, OH&S. She's a lunatic. She's, they're all lunatics in this. <laughs> Again, we've, we've said this That before. would be like a teacher firing a gun at a door right? <laughs> to get in. Look, we've, we've discussed this. That they all have guns, essentially? <laughs> Yeah, we've just—I mean, exactly. Like, this is a dangerous place to to live, and nobody to live and learn and work, yeah. and nobody. Everybody's like, "Wow, magic!" Nobody's like, "This is crazy, though." <laughs> I think the new people are mm. the people who come from, you know, like Muggle families. But yeah, you're quickly yeah, yeah. like, "Don't worry about it." Yeah, I've written here: the wand is the cell phone of the wizard. And gun. Well, cell phone and gun, but it's like, <laughs> well, it's, it's because like it, they use it for. They use it for everything, even when like mundane stuff would be better. <laughs> like, there's a moment where in this movie where they're searching. I think for they're in a big they're in a big room filled of glass. They're prophecies. They're all in glass sure. cases or whatever. And they're they've all got their wands out and they're just like using them like a like a light on your yeah, cell like phone. A torch, yeah. Just use a regular cell phone, maybe. But you got you don't need it because you got a wand, man. But it'd be like again if it's a gun. <laughs> if you'd be like, man, sure is dark in here. Bang, 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 <laughs> bang, bang, bang. So as long as I keep firing this. Guns have torches on them, some of them Some do. of them have torches on it, yeah. Can't argue right. with that. That's true. Yeah. Sometimes you do that thing that Mulder and Scully do where they've, got a, what they they've do. got a gun and they've got a torch. You know what you they know? do? Yeah. They anyway, never really. Re- yeah. and, but like one of them sees it, one of them doesn't. That's, that's yeah. how Mulder and Scully <laughs> yeah, that's work. That's right, isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's, I hate the line in this where Hermione's like, we should train and whatever. And she's like, I love doing illegal magic now with Harry. And Ron's oh. like, who are you and what have you done with Hermione? Mm. The worst line in anything ever. Yeah, yeah. Also. And she'd be like, well, the time turner turned me evil. So <laughs> yeah. I'm evil Hermione That's now. what happened. Ron, again, yes. absolute dead shit in these And movies. now is this because, again, like in the previous yeah. ones, the good lines that, that Ron they, had in they the books give they've him, given to Harry give, and other characters. Or Hermione. Yes. He's, again, as people have pointed out also, He's supposed to be the point of view into the the magical world because he grew up with it. Yeah, Hermione knows the book smarts. Harry just kind of scoots by what everyone else tells. Muddles his way through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. which I don't actually mind. And I think it becomes more apparent as these movies go on that he's not a particularly skilled wizard. Right. And as he mentions in this movie in particular, he's lucky and he's had help. I've written down here. Harry realizes it's been luck all along after five movies. <laughs> 
<laughs> when you're a kid, you're invincible. Yeah, that's true. Until yeah. you see your friend die. Yeah. Yeah. When a baby zaps him with a, with a wand and right. kills him. Yeah. Remember that? Evil baby. Yeah, did yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the Weasley brothers, yep. here's a note that I've written. Like, there's a, there's a scene where they they all go to they have Christmas lunch or Christmas dinner, I think it yeah. is, and it's kind of nice. And Harry's there, and Hermione's there, and all the you know all the the love interests are there, and sure. etc. But I've written, I wonder if the Weasley brothers ever get depressed that their family see them as interchangeable, <laughs> because there is a moment in this movie where <laughs> their their mum yeah. has two presents, and one's red and one's green, and just goes. Swaps them about and goes, eh, yeah, there you go. Absolutely. And they're both the same scarf. They're also often confused by their own family members. Yeah. I've taught twins. Yes. And like uh, you, you would know twins that I've known twins. Right. Even identical twins, mm. you can tell them apart yeah, if for you sure. know them. It's amazing to me that they haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> then they do mess around with them all the time and all that. But thing. are they magically twins? I think they're just twins. Like maybe they're because they don't seem to mind. Again, then there's no. never there's never there's no moment of self awareness where they just they take their scarves and they go like, Oh, thanks, Mama, what a what a what a great Christmas we're having and then they just go to separate rooms in the house and they're just like <laughs> <laughs> You don't know us at all. They go <laughs> they go to the same room. They go to the same room, exactly, yeah. <laughs> And they, they cry. They definitely share a bed. They, they cry exactly. The, they they cry in mirror image, and then they stop at the same time, and they just go back out to the living room. I'd imagine they spoon like they're in the womb. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Do you like those guys? I think they get more kind of. Comp- they're way I like kind of. How they're cheekier. selling poison in this movie. <laughs> That's something I enjoy. They're just like, you want to get out of school? Here's some poison. We make this. We're teenagers. <laughs> I guess. It's a very powerful love potion. If you give it to somebody, you could get them to kill somebody else for yeah. you. That's we're, fine. We're not qualified. We're children. <laughs> but we're going to do this. And it's not a crime. We're not going to the acid vat or whatever. We didn't go to, we didn't go to jail for that time we wrecked the school. Right. So yeah. we got to jail for poison. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine if a, if a student went into an actual school and went, hey, you want to get out of class? Here's some poison. Here's some razor blades. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> this is the one with the love story. Got a bunch of love stories oh, going it? on. Yeah, Teenage the, kissing the, stuff. The, six, uh, the next one has a lot of love stories as well, sure. I think. I but. think this is where oh, it kind of starts a bit at four, but you know, Ron and Ron starts kissing girls and, oh, yeah, and Hermione's, Hermione's a bit jealous. Kissing boys mm. and like Cormac McLaggen. Harry's kissing bloody Cedric Diggory's bloody girlfriend after he died or whatever. Say corpse. Corpse, yeah. Mm. That's a bit that's a bit rough how she gets treated at this because she got tortured that's for the Joe, right? That's Joe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody in this is being either tortured or like poisoned yeah. into giving up information. Doesn't Dolores Umbridge, she, again, she like has yeah. a truth serum. She puts it in everybody's tea. Yeah, she loves it. Uncool. Ah, it's Dolores cool. Umbridge. Oh, You're it's cool. Do it. It? Okay, well, if, it, if it's cool, then it's I guess. the boss, it's fine. Yeah, that's probably true. So I don't like Dumbledore in these movies and I don't really like him as a character because he mm-hmm. sucks. Like, oh, yes. He's basically raising Harry to be shot. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what's is, happening yeah, here. Right? But this has the best Dumbledore moment. It's not... How many did you put it today? I never did come to the fire. This has the second best Thank you. Dumbledore moment where he escapes his office by clapping in the Phoenix and oh, he yeah, disappears. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that guy's like, that Dumbledore man, he's got style. I'm yeah. Like, that is cool. It's the only cool thing he does in any of these movies. He's got no spark. Am I wrong? He's just this deadpan, beaten down wizard. In the mm. in the book, and I know he's got like he's done a lot of stuff and he's seen a lot of stuff, but he's got this real kind of energy to him in the books. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's just not evident in these movies. And again, this is a recast, but I feel like the other guy was so old that he didn't get that sense. Yeah, either. right. But yeah. do you think is that be- is that because they don't want to then if they recast, they don't want to be like now really ramp it up for no reason. That's what they should have done. Apparently, yeah. they asked Ian McKellen. He's talked about how they asked oh. him to do it, but he was like, "I'm Gandalf. I'm not doing this." But Ian McKellen <laughs> would have crushed this. Yeah, for sure. It would have been way better. Also, mm. he's gay. Not that it matters in these <laughs> right. movies anyway. I guess. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. How about this, Jack Black. Oh my god! Fresh off School of Rock. <laughs> yeah, I would have loved that. That would have been incredible. <laughs> he would have just riffed, like yeah. he would have just improved all of it. I believe though, because J.K. Rowling had a lot of say over these movies, and one of the things was that she wanted an all British cast, oh. and I think it's exclusively like British European. So you get the British Jack Black. Yeah, yeah. James Corden. Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> I wrote. I've written down here. There's a scene quite early in the look. The, I just want to get some early stuff out of the yeah, way. Yeah, man, I'm good. There's a moment where they pick up Harry right at the start of the movie, and they all get on their broomsticks. And I think it's Moody, Professor Moody goes. They got the weird eye. He's very like. Um, he's he was very, in a he was in a box for the whole previous movie. That's right. But this is the real Moody, if yeah. I remember correctly. Mm. So in this one, he goes. He they he gets very serious, and he's like, "Don't break ranks if one of us is killed." Yeah, and then. 
nothing happens. Well, they just fly around on their brooms for a bit. Just wait a couple of movies because <laughs> this pretty much exact same thing happens, and a bunch of people get killed. Well, I haven't watched that movie yet, yeah. so this is a real that dude real is, nothing. That moment. dude is like notoriously paranoid. He's yeah. known for it, ah. but the thing is, he's almost exclusively right. Oh, so, well, this time he was wrong. And mean. Yeah, I know. Wrong, yeah, wrong yeah. and mean. And got a weird, weird bug eye. But anyway, there's a <laughs> moment where they go to like a, their safe house and yeah. all the walls open up and the yeah. muggles don't notice. But there's some muggles, humans, yeah. regular humans, and they're watching a TV series and like with a laugh ships. track. And I'm like, what are they watching? What are they watching in 2007? <laughs> well, these, Might have movie, been peep show. these movies are set in the 90s. No, oh, are they? the books are. Okay, these may or may not be. Right. Okay. I don't. I actually, they're probably. I don't think they are. Okay. Right. Depending on streets and Mrs. Brown's boys. Cars are they watching Mrs. Brown's boys? Oh my god! <laughs> they're watching Keeping Up Appearances. They might be. Well, I mean, they might be watching a DVD or a VHS. That's true. Could be watching Keeping Up Appearances. That's what I'd be watching. Could be watching The Vicar of Dibley. Mm. Final season, two thousand and seven. I looked it up. That's not that long ago. Right. Yeah. Mm. Terrific. Yeah. Did you like how Harry, Gavin, and Stacey? That's where I was going with that. Oh, okay. Gavin and Stacey doesn't have a laugh track. Does is it good? Uh, it's got Rob Brydon. He's good. I like Rob Brydon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I just look at some Rob Brydon interviews I, instead? Yeah, I guess you could do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could just watch him do impressions. Yeah. Or would why would definitely. you watch him do Michael Caine when I did Michael Caine? That's a really good couple point. Couple episodes. You've okay. ruined all of Michael Caine impressions for me. I've ruined impressions. Did you like how Harry's dad sucks? Yeah. But I mean, we, we really only get 30 seconds of that. Yeah, but he does. He's like notoriously a bad dude at school. That's a shame. And is responsible for Snape is, who Snape is, who also sucks. Uh, he held him down and put a hair straightener on him <laughs> for hours, for so long. It was a magical one, and so his hair stayed like, like that. that. Exactly. Yeah. And then you just see him. You just see him look at a picture of himself prior to that, and he just looks like Alan Rickman in Die Hard, <laughs> just with that beautiful <laughs> sweeping '80s hair and with a curve in it. And he's like, "Oh no, I could have been so charismatic, but now I look like an eggplant." Now I'm a greasy worm, <laughs> man. Yeah. Yeah. But I think because Harry gets a lot of his kindness from his mother's side because oh, his right. mother was friends with Snape and would defend Snape. Yeah, right, right, right. And Harry's just like, yeah, look at his underwear. Yeah, Harry. So why are, why are James and Lily Potter, why did they gr- get together? He grows up and... and uh, okay. Because Snape was always in love with her and but and couldn't understand why she would date this dude. Mm-hmm. Snape's an incel, essentially. <laughs> and Harry Harry's dad is a Chad. Uh-huh. He's an inspel. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. So that's how that works. Yeah, I get it. I get yeah. it. I get stuff. But he, he becomes better after school. Harry's mm. dad, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that, and that's pretty good. Um. Anyway, this whole movie's about. A, oh, you got more early on notes because uh, whatever, man. Early on, uh, whose ear is that? We covered that. Yep. Why doesn't Harry get a lawyer when he's when he's going to be expelled? Why don't they give him a lawyer? He does. He's got Dumbledore. Yeah, but he shows up by accident. No, he did it on purpose. He knew he knew he was supposed to be there. But why did? But I mean, you know. But they weren't like, "Hey, Harry, you can get a lawyer." They didn't want him to get a lawyer. I they know. wanted to expel him. Well, That's why the didn't point. Harry They've ask got an for acid a lawyer. room. They do have an acid room. That's all very vague. Isn't I think it? he was told also. Maybe this is just in the books that Dumbledore was going to meet him there. Uh, the book yeah, also right, okay. really leans into Harry's really angsty, and the movie does it less, which is good because that's really because. Dumbledore is sorry because Voldemort is probing Harry's mind. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. So that's why he's so angry. Yeah, and yeah. It's a yeah. metaphor for teen angst. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got that at the time. Great. Uh, I've written here the newspapers are really bitchy. They're <laughs> yes, a bunch they of are. Real, real. It's snarky. the British tabloids. I guess it is because there's a moment where you know Harry. There's a there's a Harry Potter's again. He's being accused of something. I can't really remember what happened in the previous movies. He's always being accused, of but he's thing. always being. He saved the day. <laughs> Four years in a row, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. And they're still like Harry Potter, more like Harry Plotter. <laughs> yes. He plotted this, didn't he? Yeah. Mm. And they just, just, just little animations. I'm sure, like Harry Potter would have seen the newspaper on the rack. Yeah. He would have said Potter, and he'd been like, "I wonder what this is about." And it turns to Plotter, and he's like, "Oh man." <laughs> but I've been right oh, every other bother. time. I'm yeah. always right. He's always right. <laughs> uh, at one point, Sirius Black says uh, of a house elf, "He never was very pleasant." No. Yeah, because he lives in slavery. Yeah, but this one is particularly mean and racist. <laughs> He's racist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Towards anyone who is Mud a house elf or whatever. Oh, Muggles, yeah. Huh. Yeah. He's not a fan. Right. He's also responsible for something in the book that they left out of the movie. He's somehow responsible for the Death Eaters getting into the ministry and killing Sirius Black because he oh. says at one point, "Get out of here, Kretcher," and Kretcher goes, "Ooh," and he leaves. And then he does something. Oh, yeah, I can't yeah. remember. Specifically. Okay, right, right, right. Someone tell Mason on Twitter what that is. <laughs> don't tell do. me. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, what I like about the Death Eaters also, where they turn Why up- am I not allowed to care either? <laughs> you guess- because you asked. Yeah, that's you true. You didn't ask. That's no. <laughs> you asked why is he mean? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, because because he's a he's a racist. Um. So all I'm uh, saying is they're they're still slaves. Yeah, but the other one's nice. Like Dobby's nice. Remember? A, yeah, I know, but he's a slave. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's good. Mm. Um. So what I like about the Death Eaters are they no, that's the bad wizards. They're the bad. That's the team of yeah. bad wizards. They're like weird upper management. I. Eyes wide shut, dudes. <laughs> like right? a lot yeah, of them. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? They're all in those metal masks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Real weird. I've written here as a note. Yep. These great evil wizards aren't really that great. No. Because again, like if we're using the metaphor that the wand is just a gun, the wand is. What just is a happening gun. primarily here in this movie, especially towards the end, it's a bunch of teenagers with guns. Yeah. Versus a bunch of adults with guns. Yeah. And none of them seem particularly good at anything. No. Like you'd think the adults would have more magic things. Like they'd have more strings to their bow yes. in terms of magic, but it's mostly just two Shooting teams blasts. of people just 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 whapping blast at each other. Also, you, know? you could be doing the killing curse every time. Oh, every time, yeah. yeah. Is there any uh, limitations on that? Does uh, it maybe, take it out of you? Well, you gotta you gotta have a lot of hate in your heart when you do it. Oh. I think. Yeah. These people seem to have a lot of hate in their heart. Like, yeah, the but time. a lot of these people are just going along with it. They're just they like, are, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Like yeah. Draco's not really into it, is he? No. Talk about him in the next movie. Yes. Though that being said. Helena Bonham Carter is great at these movies. She's really just yeah, like right. cackling it up yeah. and just over That's the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's, but speaking of like adults being bad at things, you know when they all finally get ca- cornered in the ministry and mm-hmm. and uh, Malfoy's like, hand over the prophecy, Harry oh, Potter. Oh, I hate that Malfoy. <laughs> I hate him more than regular Malfoy, the young Malfoy. I hate old Malfoy, you know why? Because he's stupid, straight and white hair. You I got hate pinned it. down? Huh? Do you get pinned down? No, he did it himself. He didn't get pinned down. No, he pinned he? it down, but I'd pin, pin him down and shave his head. Yeah. That's what I'd do. You're stupid. Yeah, we get it. We get it. You like long guitar solos in ice caves. We get it. <laughs> we get it. But Sirius Black then shows up, mm-hmm. and to open the, the fight, like restarting again, he throws a punch. Yes. And I'm like, just fucking blast him. You can also freeze him and then hit him. If right. That's been established. I've written here. Yeah. Because I've got an answer for everything and a question for everything. Uh, In this universe, do you turn to the dark side if you kill someone? No, there's no really like you can, there's not dark side, light side. It's not like Star Wars. Because you know what I'd do probably. Yeah. I'd go, how do you stun somebody? Stun off. Expelliarmus. No, it's a different one. You say, you're stunned. Stupefy. You're stunned, mate. What you do is you (laughs) go. You're stunned, mate. You're stunned, mate. (laughs) You go. Superfy, right? Yep. And then you cut their throat. Yeah, great. Because they're all evil. Straight up. And they're monsters. Yeah. You just you just stupefy, right? And then when they're on the ground, get cut out your throat. pen knife. Yeah, exactly. Cut their throat. You could even just jab your wand into their windpipe, just like right. <laughs> probably do it. Yeah. Yeah, that'd do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I reckon if I showed up to that thing with a gun, I'd be evenly matched with whatever's going That's on. That's what there. I'm talking about. Because <laughs> like you would assume. That- I can't block with a gun though, can I? Though I did a shield at a gun. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, go, mm. <laughs> a riot shield and a gun. <laughs> right, yep. <laughs> because you'd think that if you're a, a wizard yeah. and you're a, you've been a wizard for decades, yeah. if somebody swung a punch at you, mm. you'd have a countermeasure for that yeah. of some sort. But apparently you don't. No. So maybe I wouldn't even go stupefy. Well, nobody's, I'd kick no, them in the nuts but nobody's, and then I'd cut their throat. But nobody's really throwing punches. Like there's no kung fu in this universe, right, is right, there? right. You know, that's they, what I'm saying. If if you exist in a universe where nobody's expecting kung fu, you give yeah. them some kung fu. Yeah, straight up, right? Yeah, and then maybe they'd figure it out eventually. But I reckon I could kung fu a bunch of those guys <laughs> before they figured it out. Yeah, right? you take you take a year of classes. Yeah, you tear through them because also you just hit them in the windpipe. Yeah, you windpipe them, and then most can you killing curse somebody without saying uh, avracadavra? Uh, I reckon it's probably harder. Right? So you hit them in the windpipe. No, so you could, I'm not sure if it applies for that one in particular. I uh-huh. don't think it does. Mm. But you can think a thing and. That's blast. what I figured, yeah. yeah That's so, why all the cops in Fantastic Beasts can just be like, but pew, if, pew, you, pew, pew, if pew. you hit someone really hard in the side of the head, they're not thinking anything. No. Or like you said, the nuts. Yeah. You're just out. Yeah. You're just, like, you're just down for the count. That'd be like half a brickos. <laughs> half a brickyamo. Right? You just hit them real hard. That's a callback to our ad we did. Yeah, yeah, you have right. to listen to the ad. We just hit him in the side of the head with half a brick. Yeah. There's plenty down there. Yeah, I agree. All the, everybody's fighting in weird ruins. Yeah. You know? Weird prophecies. Speaking of that room. Maybe a poker, like a fire poke, yeah. fireplace poker. I reckon you could do it with a broom handle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> just take the brush off. Yeah. You clean up a room of those blokes. No yeah, problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, all I'm saying is 
The, the, the villains that have been built up for, for, for many years in the books and the movies, I could probably take half of them without breaking a sweat. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> At least half. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Do you reckon you could take Helen and Bottom Carter? She's quick though, isn't she? Yeah, I don't she reckon She can you like could. turn into a, a puff of smoke. Yeah, and whatever. Yeah. I mean, they all do that. Mm. Yeah. Maybe. What an era. Yeah. I'd lure her in with some, some gothic trinkets. <laughs> Like a ring with a skull on it? Ring with a skull on it. <laughs> ring with a skull, like a... Uh, a gauntlet. Gauntlet, yeah. <laughs> yep. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like some some, some like some like lace doilies, but they're black lace doilies. Exactly. A pewter yeah. mug, but it's like a skeleton's hand. Yes, mm. yes, yes, yes. Very good. A, a pewter, goblet. A, a pewter goblet. wizard, but he's, but he's holding a... He's holding a... A snake as a staff. snake as a staff, and then the <laughs> snake's mouth is like a little crystal ball. <laughs> Lure him with that, she'd be like, ooh, and then crack her in the head. Half a brick. Half a brick. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Half a bricky Amos. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so Sirius's death is. I'm not saying I'd win. No, I, I, I'm agree. I'm with you. I'm not. But I'm is... saying they would all leave yeah. afterwards, and they'd be like, "That guy kicked the shit out of us." Boy, a lot of us are dead. <laughs> like we're not coming back from this. <laughs> you, had half, you. you had half a brick. Yeah, right. that's, all, that's all he had. <laughs> it is a bleak thing that you tear into a room with half a brick. <laughs> People who love Harry Potter hate this. No. <laughs> I'm aware. <laughs> so Sirius's death is strange, and it's stranger in the books. Okay, because he get in the book. I think he gets stunned, right. and then he falls through the curtain. But this, he gets the the killing curse right. and he falls through. And he has to have a lot of hate. She has to have a lot of hate yeah. in her heart to do it. And whatever, Does she hate him. Yeah, they're cousins or whatever. Okay, right, right. That'll so do it. yeah, she hates everyone. Yeah. So. He then falls into a weird magical curtain and then disappears entirely. Yes. Apparently that, that that's called, I looked into it at the time when I read the book because mm-hmm. it's kind of hints towards some people can hear what's on the other side. Apparently it's a passage to the afterlife, oh. but it's one way. So I'm like, so it's just death. So it's like <laughs> dying in any, yeah. in any sense. In most circumstances, <laughs> the path to the afterlife is one way. <laughs> yeah. So wait, so... But you have to die in that specific location. No, you can fall. You walk through it, you die. That happens to you. But where is this curtain? It's in the center of that room or whatever. That's what I'm saying. You have to go through in that room. Yeah. Okay. So if you die in any, anywhere else in the Harry Potter universe besides that room, the afterlife is a two-way street. No. Oh. You're dead, you're dead. Right. The exception being Harry Potter. Okay, and yeah. maybe others. Right, I don't right, know. There's right. probably others. But the afterlife is real. Okay. Because you can bring people back as ghosts yes. if, when we've seen that. And also you can bring people back with that stone. And have you ever seen the last movies? No, I'm, 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 I'm behind. I won't get into it. That's the thing. Like, uh, speaking of, at the end of this, that's the end of my knowledge of Harry Potter. I don't even have vague okay, memories cool. of the last two. So, But my point is, with yes. this, of this weird death that he has, mm-hmm. why the weird veil and he floats off into nothing? It's got no payoff. Right. I thought, is he going to come back? Is there some kind of... He doesn't, by the way, I should oh. point out. Oh, he does as a ghost. I won't... Oh, yeah, right. but In a painting? No. Oh. But... So, it's it's a very weird and ambiguous death for no reason. Right. It's very elaborate for uh-huh. no reason. Mm-hmm. I think they plan to do something else with him. Oh, so was this... Did this movie come out before the books were finished? No. Oh. It didn't. Because also, again, in the book, he doesn't get the killing curse. Yeah. I think he just get he just gets hit with something. And it might yeah. be a stun, maybe. I looked into it. And then he falls off the... And then he just falls into it. Oh, okay, right. And then he disappears, and that's the end of him. Huh. Yeah. I don't know what the point of it is. Lame. Like, why didn't they just... Why didn't she just blast him and he was dead? Why did he have to go through that? It yeah. doesn't make any sense. Why? I don't you know. You see what I'm saying? It's an extra layer of yes. war for nothing. It doesn't, yes. it doesn't do anything. Yes. And he's definitively dead as well. Anyway, yeah. whatever. <laughs> uh, that Dumbledore fight's pretty good. Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing. That's finally we get a couple of wizards who are like, no, we should they do, it. Do, do something else. Like, do you have to be like the, the absolute pinnacle of wizarddom before you can be like, I'll make a... Fire dragon or whatever. I think so, yeah. Shoot a lightning bolt. Yeah. Oh, like it's pew pews. It's cool because it's like, it's two very, very magic dudes. Yeah. And it's like improv as well. It's like there's a <laughs> fire dragon and there's like a water ball and then there's glass and he turns it to sand. Then there's a, a space s- jump. Yeah. It's a sp- and all of a sudden they're at a mechanics. <laughs> they are got to get these tires changed. <laughs> There's some good stuff going on uh-huh. in that fight is what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, right. it's good. But I feel it could... I had the same problem with this as I had with the first Doctor Strange, which was kind of rectified in Infinity War, yeah. where it's like they're shooting black holes at each other and they're turning the black holes into butterflies. Like, yeah. that's more fun. Yeah, I agree. Lightnings and we're, we're, I'm 50 guys. Which one am I? 
oh, you found me. You know? <laughs> Hit me with that brick. But at least he tried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, they only get, I mean, you give them a few more minutes, you're going to see probably more, more stuff. more spectacular stuff. Yeah, yeah I yeah, think there's yeah. some good stuff in that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Because it solid. feels like a game of, it's a game of chess. Like, you do the fire, like, I, I put you in a water ball. Yeah. You throw s- glass at me and I turn it into sand. It's like, yeah, yeah. okay, this uh-huh. is cool. This is yeah. cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, uh, Sirius is dead and Harry gets his weird house. And, and then elf. and then people, uh, then, then everybody sees that Voldemort's back. Yeah, and they're like, oh my God, oh. Harry Potter was right again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that could have been just Dumbledore doing an illusion. No. I saw him for mere seconds. No. <laughs> oh. It was re- they believe it this time. Instantly. Yeah. Good good on them. Yeah. He could have been. Uh, I don't yeah. I think I think most of my notes have been covered, so we can go to we can go into movie six. Uh, but hang on, blood, I'm, hang on, let me see. Prince. Uh, blood. Prince. Uh, blood. Prince. Um Harry look, Potter. I've written here uh, at one point Hermione refers to some magic. Uh, she's like, that's illegal. And I'm like, what a nerd. I've written that. <laughs> just come on. <laughs> uh, Hermione's plan is to lead Umbridge into the woods and hope for the best. Yes. There's a lot of leading people to the woods. And, and, and the best fortunately, thing. a group of uh, uh, centaurs show up and brutalize her. Yeah. So that's, that's fun. Um, no, I think she was going to lead. I think the plan was to always lead her to the giant. Okay, right. right, yeah. right, right the right. giant plays more in the book. I've written here, I've got a couple of things regarding uh, Umbridge as well. I've written, I should, I, if I was there, if I was Umbridge, I'd make a proclamation that levitation spells are grounds for expulsion and place one very high up on a wall. <laughs> I think that'd be funny. I think I'd get a lot of kids for it. Because, you know, they keep putting all the proclamations, all the, yeah. all the deeds, they keep putting them up higher and higher yeah. on the wall and then they take the ladder away. I'd be like, you should probably read that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sucked in. Expelled. And you're in jail. Yep. I've written here, the Ministry of Magic is involved in a deliberate misinformation campaign to downplay the danger of Voldemort and they should all be prosecuted. <laughs> They are. I in think. fact, I would I would like to see a follow up movie. Yeah. Which each person is brought in. Yeah. They're shown all the previous clips from, from all the previous movies where because they, they can do that with memories. They, exactly where they ignore the dangers. Yep. And then they get hung. <laughs> <laughs> just a regular gallows, not even a magical gallows. Cool. Yeah, I'm yeah. done with that. That and sounds great. And then there's great. maybe like a minute of them just twitching yeah. on the gallows, and the other people are watching. Yeah. They do have trials after the Voldemort thing. Oh, we good. saw a bit of it in the last movie. Oh. Uh, where they, but I think it shouldn't just be people who are sided with Voldemort. Yeah. It should just be people who were ignorant on purpose to what's happening. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm with uh, you. And I've got one more note. At the end, Harry Potter says, uh, they, they were all walking away, and he says, we've got one thing Voldemort doesn't have, something worth fighting for. And I think he's referring to their noses. <laughs> you might be right. I think I'm right. And complexion, I guess. Yeah, complexion also. He's like very, a nice very, hue. Very pale. Yeah. Mm. That guy is not right, is he? No. Anyway, he's not in the next movie. Like, there's flashes of him, but he's not in it. I mean, you would assume that he, at some point, he's going to show up because they introduce a new character. And you they, see little boy Voldemort. Yeah, they introduce a new uh, professor. Yeah. Slug and my Voldemort. assumption going into all of these is, well, that's Voldemort again. <laughs> What's the, the new of, guy? He's probably a villain. It's on the back of his head or on his tongue right? or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. No, Snape was the villain this time, or was he? Uh, so, I like at the start, Harry's just like, I just want to be kissing girls. And right? I'm going to be... I'm reading this weird newspaper and I just want to... What I liked about the opening sequence, uh, it, it starts with Harry and Dumbledore like they're, they're being papped by the paparazzi. Yeah. I'm like, Dumbledore, you didn't have another way to go in? <laughs> Again, magic. You could have avoided all this. Yeah. With a inf- potentially infinite number of spells. Also, where was he for all of that? Like, he's yeah. letting kids just run amok. Right? Guy's a bad dude. And we'll <laughs> talk about it more in They're this. all bad people. Yeah. It's weird, though, that... The idea behind getting Slughorn back at the school to teach yes. is because he knows that Harry can get close to him to get a memory out of him. Mm. The weird thing is he's raising Harry to be slaughtered. He oh, yeah. knows that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Snape knows that. Yeah. Some other people, I presume, know it. Yeah. Well, a lot of people know it by the end. And he's like, I'll get, this guy doesn't want to give me his memory. I'll get Harry to coax it out of him. Mm. You're the most powerful wizard. Just fucking, just grab him and go, I will murder you if you just don't tell me. Just pin him down. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> You know down. what I can do, right? Threaten to sh- shave his head or straighten his hair. I'll put a water- one of the greatest magical threats <laughs> yes, you can do. Right. He's yeah. got a big mustache in the book, and I'm like, come on. He's got a big walrus mustache. Oh. I think he does anyway. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, Hit him that, with half a brick. That guy goes not, down like a sack of potatoes. The only thing that dude can do is like turn into a chair. All right. Do much else. So oh, this one, look, this one. And potions, yeah. I guess. Look, this, this. Oh my, no, my notes are longer on this movie than the first movie. <laughs> oh no! But look, if we if we can jump ahead to that, but then I'll jump back to the start again. Sure. This movie is like, well, you can get memories, and you can just you want to see somebody's memories. They're in a vial. You you put your head in the, the thing, and you can see the memories. Sure. Do that all the time. Yeah. Do that in all the previous movies when Harry's like, I remember Voldemort was here. 
Cool. Pull the memories out of his nose and then stick them in the in the pool and stick his head in it. No. Because of what the do you plot? think of that? Because of the plot. <laughs> yeah. Because of the plot. Ah, uh, look. I had I had some notes about the start. Sure. This opens with Harry Potter reading one of his snarky magical newspapers in the real world. Yeah. Why? And then, but this waitress is very impressed by him. She's like, "Oh, I'm get off at eleven. Why don't Let's we go. when we hang out?" But it'd be like being impressed by him reading like a Dungeons and Dragons magazine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What that's true. Yeah. yeah. What's going on? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, he's Harry Potter. She yeah. doesn't know that though, does she? No, that's true. She just thinks he's cute. She likes that Harry. She likes the sound of that Harry Potter though. You know, she I've does. written here, uh, and this is my. This is my proudest moment. It, uh, it's all downhill from here. I've written the Dumbledore identity because there's a moment where... <laughs> the train comes the, Yeah. <laughs> there's nobody there and then the train comes past well and done. then Dumbledore's there and I'm like, yep, that's, that's it's good stuff. That's very good. Um, Someone should make that into a clip. Oh, my God. That's great. You should. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. I've got a lot of time on my hands. I have no more extra time on my hands. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Uh, so, do you know to the Tom Riddle flashback where he's a little boy and, and Dumbledore goes to see him and he's like, yep. this kid's fucking insane. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, don't accept him at that point, obviously. Yeah. But he's actually, Rafe finds his nephew, that kid. Oh. And here's his real name. Hero Beauregard Faulkner finds Tiffin. That's his name. Unbelievable. And he's got like 2 million followers on Instagram. Hero. <laughs> yes. Hey, is it H-I-R-O? H do you think it's that or do you think it's the I other one? I think it's the regular one. <laughs> it is, you're right. He's got 2 million followers on Instagram. Something What's his like deal? That. Is he on it's TikTok? Like a model or something. I uh, it would be a model. Yeah. I've written here regarding regarding Tom Riddle. Yep. Uh, when he first appears in that flashback sequence. Killing. I've written, Tom Riddle, colon, you just kill this kid. <laughs> yes. uh, and then I added later, you wouldn't give him a, a machine gun. No. Which is essentially what they've done. Yeah, they're like, you know what, this guy who's and also there's there's numerous references in this. The Dumbledore Dumbledore mentions it, and Slughorn mentions it later. They're like, did I have any knowledge that this guy would be a dangerous wizard? Not at all. Why not? <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Hear how he speaks. Acknowledge his prior actions before you met him. Yep. This kid's a monster. <laughs> Hit him in the head with half a brick. He'll never see it coming. <laughs> well, he's from the real world. He's like, I just love talking to snakes and setting fire to things. <laughs> yeah. Because you're a psychopath. <laughs> oh, it's, all the, it's all the classic <laughs> so elements of it. Yeah, yeah, it's all the classic clues of a psychopath. Yeah. You're and right. you're like, no, nah, well, you know what? I'll show him how to do killing curses and well, to be fair, shoot lasers out of his eyes or whatever. To be fair, and this is you see a little bit of it in this, but it's more in the book. He also wisens up to people being aware of what he is. Psychopaths do that. Psych exactly. And he's very charming. And the mm. only teacher in the school who doesn't really cotton on, the only teacher who cottons on is Dumbledore because he met him first. Right, okay. And he's like, Dumbledore never really trusted me, but he suckered like e literally, literally everybody mm. else in the school. Yeah, right. But yeah, he's a psychopath. Yeah, you're absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. Mm. So a big plot point of this book is that Draco has to fix a big cupboard. Uh, yeah, so it's a cupboard and you put something in it or yourself yep. in it. P bundle yourself in the cupboard and then you disappear for a bit? Yeah. Or you go somewhere else? No, no, you else? go to it. There's another one you can... Oh, it's two cupboards. Yeah, two okay. cu Matching double, cupboards. Double cupboards. <laughs> yeah. Dub cubs. Dub cubs. Wow. Yeah, and you know, he's not really good at killing Dumbledore. I would have called this, this movie Harry Potter and the Dub Cubs of Hogwarts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so... Draco should be in jail for poisoning people and cursing yep. objects and, yep. mm -hmm. and whatever, or hit him with a brick, whatever. Yeah, That's brick. fine. Yeah. I've just written a note and I, here and I don't know what it's in relation to. But oh, I, let's puzzle it out. This, I will just, be, this will be a clue. No, like this could be a, anything. This will be a clue like in his Harry Potter's potions book full, of, full of clues. I've just written, Ron is so stupid. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> right. Is that not a carryover from all the other movies? It might have been the bit where... He sits between Harry and his sister or something. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. I don't know, it might be the reference to he doesn't realise that Hermione is also in love with I him. I think that, I think, I think the... the sitting... I think Hermione knows that he loves her. Yeah, right. But he doesn't know the other way. I think the him stepping between Harry Even and Even though his people sister, tell him. I think that was deliberate. Yeah. Because he spends the whole movie going, oh, these people are after my... I don't think he does. Really? Because he's kind of quite jovial about right. it. I don't. I think he's stupid. <laughs> I've also written here, everyone in Ron's family is better than Ron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me see if I have any <laughs> Weasley-related notes. Um, I bet I do. I bet I do. Uh, I've written here, Mr. Weasley's man cave is terrifying. Because <laughs> it's just, <laughs> I don't they, at one point they're going in, I think it's his garage or like a whatever. Yeah. And it's just filled with like broken fax machines. Yeah, he's obsessed and, with like mug, muggle stuff. Yeah, and it's just, the, but they're all dirty and yeah. covered in. Yeah, he sucks. Yeah, he sucks. <laughs> he's a weird hoarder. Yeah. Um, his house is so fucking crooked. It's weird. I've written here also, uh, 
The destruction of the Weasley's house, because, you know, it gets blown up and it gets set on fire. Sure. The destruction of the Weasley's house would be sadder if Dumbledore hadn't totally repaired a house with magic right at the start of the movie. <laughs> he did do that, didn't he? he? Just, he's just like, well, we better fix this. Whippity dippity doppity do. And then the house is fine again. Like, I know it's the, the Weasley's house is more seriously damaged. Yeah. You eight people you do that. Yeah, but exactly. Like, Dumbledore's <laughs> just like, bip bidi bip bidi boo And then it's, it's the house is fine. So surely he could do that for five more minutes and he'd Maybe fix the Maybe the house. difference is that that was intentionally magically destroyed. But the other one was also intentionally magically destroyed. That's what destroyed. I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. Right. yeah. What do you think of the Harry and Ginny relationship? I think it's good. It's pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Solid, yeah. They get married. Mm. And she she's there to like when when Harry's like hey everybody maybe we should hey let's hang out she's like Sh- everybody shut up yeah we didn't even talk about the Order of the Phoenix in the last oh yeah it's just Did a we? bunch of kids or whatever yeah yeah uh doesn't matter doesn't really does it he's like the more Harry's like the it's the more more important thing than learning spells is believing in yourself no I think no. in this instance Harry it's the, the spells oh I forgot to mention also that previous movie is the beginning of the Neville Longbottom glow up. Who was oh, the right. absolute champion of these movies? Because he say, starts yeah. with like not really any friends, and everyone uh-huh. hates him. And by right. the end, he's fucking beheading snakes and doing backflips and right, shit. Yeah. And he's super handsome. Yeah, yeah, cool. Mm. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. Ah, uh, look, I'm just gonna we're, we're, I'm just gonna jump to this is sort of this is towards the start. Mm. Uh, I've written because the the house that Dumbledore fixes. Yeah, it's because where it's where Slughorn was hanging out. I guess. Yeah. Uh, and I've written All here. Lives? I don't know. Yeah, I've written here. Dumbledore using the bathroom must be more awkward than someone wearing a jumpsuit wearing <laughs> going to the bathroom. Chicken, he's got big briefs on. I don't know there. what he's got going on there. It's weird because also in the prequels, yes. he's wearing like a like a three piece suit. Yep, uh-huh. he's got like a fob watch and a well. And I a guess vest. this is just more freeing. I mean, we see that in, in fuck out of here. We with see that. That he in just the, grows his hair out. He's a grub. Yeah, we Get see that in the flashbacks together. as well. He's just wearing a suit. But yeah, uh, maybe he's. But that's the thing. Also, he's like. But the, and also later, law doesn't later J.K. Rowling law establish that bathrooms are magic in the Harry Potter universe. Yeah, no, you used to be able to piss on the floor. They changed that by the time these movies roll around. Oh, good. You piss on the floor and you magic them away. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. You okay? Here's one element that I did like. At one point, Snape says, uh, I've played my part well, so well I've deceived one of the greatest wizards of all time. (gasps) And you're meant to think it's Dumbledore. Yeah. But it's not Dumbledore. Who is it? It's Harry. It's Harry. No, you know what I like? It's Longbottom. You know what the difference between Dumbledore and Snape is? What's that? The nose? Yeah, that's yeah, the beard. Most of their nose beard, hair. The big briefs. Big briefs. They're both wearing big dresses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's uh-huh. not that different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just do something about your look, Snape. Right. Yeah, what's your game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. weirdo. Uh, um, Snape is always has always been straight up with Harry, except for the deception. But right. he has the, Harry's best interests at heart mm. for the most part. Yeah. Uh, and Dumbledore is the opposite of that. That's true. Dumbledore is only keeping him alive for him to be killed. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. I've just written here, Dumbledore sucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do I have a Dumbledore note? Let's see. Uh, nope. Uh... But there's also more ambiguity in the books about how Dumbledore does suck. Right. It's like right. he's not really any good and he's got a weird, a weird past and yeah, he might yeah. have killed his sister by accident. They don't really know. And he was maybe a racist at one point. <laughs> gee, gee yeah. whiz. Yeah, he was. Good Lord. He was kissing wizard Hitler, you know. Yeah, all those things. Yeah. Uh, I've written here, just in all caps, I've just written Dean Thomas, <laughs> <laughs> and? who I think is one of the love interests who gets in the way of like Harry or yeah. Hermione Whatever, or Ron yeah. or something. There's two. There's Dean Thomas. Yep. Oh, Dean Thomas is the one who's kissing Ginny, Ginny, Weas- yeah, Ginny yeah. Weasley. But there's also the Cormac, the other guy. Yeah, Cormac uh, McClagan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Cormac McClagan. I've got some Cormac McClagan notes because he's like the um. He's better than Ron. He's better than Ron. That's his. His arc is he's better than Ron. And he is. And but and and, and maybe he's a like a love interest foil for Hermione. Except yeah. Hermione's not interested in him in her at all. Yeah. In him at all, rather. Um, I've written Cormac killed the one fly in the Harry Potter universe. He did. Which I think he does because <laughs> you never see another one until it's convenient for him to pluck a fly out of the air. That's a really what good they should have done. Yeah. Is they should have. Started, they should have started this movie. Just, just, just oceans of flies everywhere. Just you can't, you can't enter a room without like flies buzzing in your face. Then they should have like fixed all the previous movies. So yep. it's just like, blah, blah, blah. but in this movie, you put one in fly, in and he's yeah. just like, yep, got it. Don't like that. Yeah, should have eaten it. Uh, I've written here. Um, Cam, what's his name? Cormac. Yeah, Cormac gets a month's detention from Snape because he vomits on Snape's shoes. Yep, but I mean. In, in the Harry Potter universe, in the wizarding world, 
Surely there's no consequence for vomiting on somebody's shoes. I'd imagine there's always because you go bippity boppity <laughs> flippity bop, but up but up but up, and you wave your wand, and all the vomit goes away. Yeah, and you get better. But I guess maybe if you fix a house by doing a vippity boppity, it all goes back. Yeah. So maybe if you go a bippity boppity, all the vomit goes back into somebody's. <laughs> it goes be, back. Yeah. It goes in reverse. Well, back Snake into, would have done that though, wouldn't he? Yeah, it? that's right. Bippity boppity, vomity swallowy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hmm. I I what I've never really realized about these horcruxes. Yes. The one that's in this movie, which isn't actually technic, which um isn't there. It's like a false locket or whatever. Right. It's the worst one to grab. It's mm. the only one that's properly guarded. Yes. Because the other one, one is a book, uh-huh. which Lucius Malfoy has, uh-huh. and get one is a locket, mm. which which shows up later. Yeah. One is uh spoiler alert Harry Potter, which yep. you may have known. I am aware of that. One yes. is a snake. Oh. It's like. This is the one that you what maybe put the other ones <laughs> behind some shit like yeah, right in, in a in a like surrounded by zombies and fire and poison and whatever <laughs> yeah. the other ones are just like it's just a book yeah right just, just left it on a shelf <laughs> yeah it's on a shelf and I think that was the first one he did like he did that one when he was a teenager so right. that's why uh, I've but, yeah. written here uh, wherever we, oh a Slughorn didn't say anything weird about Tom Riddle either what information did Tom Riddle get out of Slughorn that he couldn't read in a book. <laughs> <laughs> because that's the secret. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. whole secret of this movie yes. is what it, what's what's in Slughorn. Slughorn won't tell us, and he's got, he's fixed he's, he's he's fiddled with that memory, so yeah. we don't know what the memory is. And the whole thing is Tom Riddle goes to Slughorn in the past in the flashback, and he goes, "What's a Horcrux?" And Tom, I read and, this in the book. And Slughorn goes, "Well, it's very evil magic." And then Tom Riddle's like, "Well, I would best be going then." <laughs> like if you if you can figure out what it is, yeah, you don't need. You don't need Slughorn. No, you really don't. You just uh, need... He knew going into that as well. Right, yeah. yeah. You just need the plot. Mm, so, you're right. Uh, yeah. Good times, though. I like this movie. I like it too. Yeah. <laughs> were you affected by Dumbledore's death? Were you like, I like this guy? Or were you like, I wonder uh, if he was gay? <laughs> I guess we'll never know. <laughs> I was like, this is a real blow for representation <laughs> yeah, in this right. movie, retroactively, yes. once we find out he's gay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what what do you think is going on with like Snape and Malfoy and Dumbledore and all that? What do you think that is? I mean, you might you probably heard some stuff. Anyway. I mean, I've got an inkling. I yeah. don't know what their their I don't know what their deal is. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure Snape is working for the good guys, despite sure. the fact that he just murdered a man. Sure. Um, do you want me to? I won't spoil it. I, I don't guess. spoil it. I mean, yeah. I, get, I get the. I, yeah. Like I don't know who. I don't know what his. Re- what about him actually killing Dumbledore? What do you think about that? Like he actually kills him. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but like, do you think that's what, what do you what do you make of that? Oh, because mm. uh, what if he had like another fifty years and he just killed this dude? That's a good point. Mm. That's murder. Yeah, it, well, yeah, it's murder. <laughs> There's a reason for it though, which oh, you find out because murder's like, fun. Yeah, that's it's yeah, essentially that's real it. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. But yeah, no, I don't know. Uh, what about twist? Snape was the half blood prince. Uh, look, it wasn't that much of a twist for me because I wasn't really sure. To me, all all <laughs> options were on the table sure. regarding who the half was. So if they were like it was Slughorn, you'd be like, okay. Yeah, I guess so. Dumbledore. Yeah, all right. I mean, it was they, Voldemort. I mean, they okay. all know a bit of magic, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's cool. Yeah. I guess. It's a big spider, big dead spider in this, isn't there? There sure is. Is yeah. that the is that the spider, the big yeah, spider the from previous one. movies? Yeah, the other one. One okay, of, cool. One right, the, right, the right, one. right. The one that right, they right. thought, the one that uh, Hagrid should have been in jail for. Yep. Uh, look, I'm just going to go through some notes if you want to. I'm ready because I've, I've said everything I want to okay, say. Okay, well, if you so. want to jump in on these, yeah. uh, I've written uh, it's uh, it's only 23 minutes into the movie until everyone stops believing Harry again. <laughs> <laughs> so after literally everybody saw yeah. Voldemort appear in the previous movie and they're like, that's Voldemort. I guess Harry Potter was right. 23 minutes in, in they're on the train. They're all Harry and Hermione and Ron are on the train. And Harry's like, I reckon Draco has something to do with these Death Eaters or something. And everybody's like, Harry, you're crazy. I saw him talking to Death Eaters. Yeah. Harry, you're crazy. Yeah. Um, I've written here, what do you do if you don't get into Hogwarts? Like if you're a wizard. Uh, Homeschooled? I guess. Is that There's how There's other works? options. I don't okay. know where they are, but yeah. Because I think Draco at one point's like, oh, this lousy school, I hate it. I guess he could get private schooled. I think he's rich. I think because you can leave at a certain age. But this but- is the best school, allegedly. It's a school. It's a school, certainly, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you think maybe I there's think another? Do you think there's maybe another film franchise in? Uh, ma- it, this is the better school. Maybe, I think it's just straight up in this universe. Yep. They just they mostly just catch everybody who's magic and put them in this school. Oh, okay, That's right. the idea. Right. So like they go to you and like you're a muggle parent and they're like your kid's magic. You can't be like no. 
Right. That sounds, okay. Can I have a tour? No, you can't. So they've got a better and street no, team. No, I'm not going to send. They've got a better street team. Is all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Would you send your kid to this school if they're not magic? No, if they are magic. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, it's well, look, no, I'd obviously. have to. I'd, look, I would probably say, "Hey, can you leave me a leaflet?" Yeah, and I'd a, want a tour, a brochure. You don't want to see the school, right? Yeah, and it's boarding school too. It's no good. You don't see it for like six months, right? Yeah, they could die. They'll yeah. probably die. Yeah, right. I've written here: uh, the invisibility cloak can be defeated by a pair of novelty glasses you get free from a magazine. <laughs> so the the invisibility cloak, the yeah. uh, the the game breaking element from several of the previous movies, if sure. I recall. Uh, you just you just put on some glasses, There's some X-ray Luna, specs. Luna Lovegood puts. A, and look, I like in, Luna Lovegood. I know it's yeah. good. It's a good performance. But mm. in in fairness, she doesn't see him. She sees some like magical stuff around yeah, him, yeah, like yeah. Magic, an aura, I guess, an aura of fleas know. or something like that. Yeah. But surely everybody has those on them. Yeah, you probably. Know? So Harry gets knocked out by Draco, and then who kicks him right in the face? Cool. And then she's just like, oh yeah, these these free novelty glasses. <laughs> yeah. Magic, yeah. I mean, George and Jerry, whatever their names are. Are, are <laughs> George selling, and Jerry Weasley, yes. Selling poison. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's magic or could be magic. Yeah. Yeah, you can enchant anything. Uh, I have some Slughorn uh, I have some Slughorn notes. Cool. Um, Slughorn asks his students to make a potion of living death. <laughs> in order to win, he makes, he makes his own potion. He makes a luck potion. Yep. And in order to, if, you, and you, if you're a student, you can win it. And in order to do that, you have to be the first to make a potion of living death. And I thought about this. I'm like, well, maybe it's a metaphor. But then he says, one, of, of Harry Potter's living yeah. death potion that he makes, one drop would kill us all. <laughs> so he's just leaving these kids unattended. It's weird because they're like, like 15 of them. Some magic is forbidden. Yeah. Not this one. Not this one. It's a potion that... What will... if the kids scooped it up and, and left? And also, if you, let's, say, let's say you make it badly. Yeah. Does it become less effective or more effective? Or a bomb. Well, it could be a bomb. You, you make it and then it just blow, and everybody in the room dies. Yeah. What's Slughorn going to do? Well, he'd be dead. He'd be dead. <laughs> yeah. I've written here, uh, this is a two-part two part note. Okay. I've written, love a good tweed from Slughorn. He's got a nice sure, like a yeah. plaid tweed, three-piece suit. Looks really nice. On. Got a bow tie on it. Yeah. And then follow up, is he a pedophile? <laughs> Yes. Because it's all a bit vague. It is, yeah. but Because he, he talks about like collecting children. It's a very heavy vibe, but he isn't. isn't and I he? think there's a note, there's a, like an acting note. I think he is. Yeah, there's an, see, there's an acting note. What's what's that guy's name? Jim something. Uh, Jim, Jim Broadbent. Some, yeah, Jim Broadbent. There's yeah. an acting note when it, whenever all the kids, he, he invites all the children yes. to his house for dinner and dessert and they all leave except for Harry. And then when, then, then when Slughorn turns around, he's like, oh, Harry. Like he's surprised. Yeah, he isn't right. like, ooh, Harry, mm, nom, 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 licking my <laughs> lips, right? So I think maybe he's not meant to be, but he no, sure. It's all. It's very heavily weighted that he that he seems to be. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, there's a reason why he wasn't working there anymore. Yeah, because he's a pedophile. Yeah, that's almost certainly yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, hero Ray finds whatever is a is an actor. He's still an actor. Just to clarify, he's in things that I don't know. Oh, okay, right, right, right. But probably right, right. also okay, an Instagram right. model. Potion, some potions notes. We mentioned this earlier. Love potions in school is the worst idea. Yeah, that's ever happened. I agree. Why would you even? Why would you even suggest to children that you can do that? Because the wheeze is yeah. out of control. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've written. Uh, I've got some. I've got some luck potion notes. Okay. I've written. Ron gets on the roids, but not really, because obviously. He thinks he thinks he's he been thinks taken. He's, yeah, he thinks, he thinks he's it's been. A plas- ta- it's a placebo. It's a placebo. Yeah, that that, that helps him become it's a placido very, domingo. It's a placido <laughs> domingo that helps him become more confidento. <laughs> yes. Um, but then I've written later. Uh, the luck potion is just cocaine. <laughs> because that's <laughs> yeah. what happens with this. Yeah. Is that Harry takes no, it? No, I mean. You, you you do a you do go to the places that you're supposed to be. Yeah, but yeah, you have the confidence of cocaine though. Well, yeah, well, yeah. What, that's what the thing. He takes it and then he immediately he's leaving the room and some people are coming in. He's like, hey, hey hello, <laughs> yeah. and then he's just around people like, hey, what are you doing? That's great. <laughs> yeah, you you guys are so good. It's liquid Tom Cruise. Yeah, <laughs> let's start a podcast. <laughs> you know, an insane thing to do. <laughs> it's just cocaine. It's just cocaine. It's definitely cocaine, isn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. you could make that without feeling yeah. like that. Yeah. Look, okay, I have two notes. They're not. They're not the most thrilling of notes, but well, I figured you, you open strong. So what Thank do you expect? You. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh no, I've got. A, I've got a couple more. Okay. Uh, there's a butterbeer mustache joke, which is very funny. Hermione drinks a butterbeer, yeah. and then it, so awkward. then Ron's like, "Look at look at you, Hermione." And she's got a butterbeer mustache, and she's like, "Oh." And then the scene ends. It's incredible. <laughs> I know. It's a good joke. 
It's great. Uh, I've written here, did Hermione kill a bunch of birds? At the bit where she threw the birds she at the wall? She throws the birds at Ron's. I think she magicked them. Ron's getting busy with but another yeah, lady and she, she gets mad. She created them. She has the right to destroy them. <laughs> okay, right. Well, it's good to know she has that power <laughs> at her command. Uh, and look, my final note, and I think it's, it's very important, is Harry nearsighted or farsighted? What's with the glasses? Because he wears them all the time. Yeah. So you'd assume he's, he's, near, he's nearsighted. Yeah. So he can so he can he needs them for distance. Yeah. Right? But in this movie, he's reading a book. Yeah. He's bed and he's still got the glasses on. Yes. I think he's just one of those people who always wears them. No, I don't like it. You don't like You'd it? You'd take them off if you were nearsighted. He never takes them off, otherwise people don't recognise him. <laughs> People don't know who the lead character is. I guess that's probably they true. They think it's Neville. People would leave. People yeah. would leave midway through the movie. <laughs> that's right. So all in all, though, did you enjoy these movies? Yeah, kind of. They're very much the in-between. Oh, I see. Kind of. The real action. I think the best one, I've done a video on it, is the next one. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah, cool. I'm excited. Spoiler alert, it's not set in the school. Oh. Yeah. They, they, well, they say at the end of the so movie. So there's no magic. Because no, they're, 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 not le- they're not legal, legally allowed to use magic it's outside It's mostly school. set in a tent in the woods. Oh, great. I'm not even kidding. Wow. Yeah. And it's a magically sized tent that's much bigger on the inside yes, of the Yes, we've seen outside. it in previous movies. Oh, for real? Okay. But yeah, yes, it is. Yes. Wow. So that's, okay. yeah, I think it's great. I think it's the best one. Wow. But, uh, and the last one's like your own game. Everyone's in it and there's a big yeah, battle yeah, yeah. and whatever, which is, you know, I like too. Mm. But we'll get to that in two years. <laughs> yep. When we're both 44. All the house elves like form up yeah. at one point in the final battle sequence and everybody on the internet's like, what are the odds they'd all show up at the same time <laughs> in that particular part of the battlefield? I mean, the odds are pretty, I mean, it's pretty unlikely, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good point, actually. Yeah. I used to like that movie and now I don't. <laughs> but someone should recut it. Mm. All in all, uh, Harry Potter, am I right? Yeah, you're not wrong. Mm. You know what it's time for? Oh, what's it time for? More Harry Potter! Hooray! No, what are we reading? What oh, are we we're going to read. Oh, that's a good segment that we yeah, do. I like it. It's one of my faves. Yeah. I'm doing the theme. What are we reading today? <laughs> what have you been reading today? I've been reading a bunch of stuff. Obviously Harry Potter stuff. Harry Potter stuff. I got that out of the way. But I've had a bit of time to myself because I'm on leave, which is nice. Terrific. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, I finally watched Charlie's Angels, new Charlie's Angels. And? It's fine. Ah, wow. <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, there's some, there's some good, there's some funny jokes in it. Okay. Ah, uh, the there's a. Uh, it's pretty bare bones. Like it's yeah. kind of like a. It's a pretty. Did it deserve to like disappear out of existence, or be one of the four movies that were released this year? I think it deserved to be o- like do okay. Okay. I think, but it doesn't. It it doesn't stand out to me in the sense of, oh my god, can you believe that action sequence? Like there's no. Mo- yeah, okay. The action sequences are okay, and it's kind of you know somebody's hijacked an EMP. Should I watch it? You don't have to watch it. Then I won't. I think the actors involved are pretty good. Uh, I like the cast, yeah. yeah. Kristen Stewart's got a funny throwaway line. Uh, Kristen Stewart's actually very good in this. Yeah. Not that she wouldn't be. I like her in most yeah, things. Yeah, she's good. Uh, I want to see Underwater. Apparently that's coming to stream. Yeah, that's yeah, apparently yeah. pretty good. Uh, she's got a fun throwaway line. Is it about, a Twilight reference? No, it's a funny throwaway line about her. she used to be married and somebody's like, oh, no, she, there's, it's, it's a funny throwaway line about like a, like a like some drama that happened at her wedding and the other angels are like, I didn't know you were married. And she's like, yeah. I'm not. I'm the, I was the better shot. Uh, and the joke is that she shot her husband okay, right. or a wife or whatever. I don't know, but it's a pretty funny joke. Terrific. Uh, yeah. Okay. So it's kind of. So do you think it could have been funnier though? Yeah, it could have been. It could have been because Elizabeth, Elizabeth Banks has a. You know, she's yeah, got she's a good in as well. Background. She's yeah. good in. I would. I mean, you know, it was it was five bucks or something to rent yeah, it. So okay. you know, it's probably worth five bucks if you. If you're uh, hard, up for a... hard up for entertainment, but why would you be at this point? Everybody's going, everybody's churning through their Netflix queues. Well, Speaking a... of, mm. did you watch Tiger King? I haven't watched it yet. Okay, no. right. Should I watch it? Yes. I mean, everybody's like, watch it all yeah, the yeah. time. Yeah, I yeah. mean, you may or may not be let down. Well, I had a, I had a uh, Chris Smith said, well, I was going to say this later, let's do it now. It says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod, best movie uh, lockdown. So, like, oh, if what's we're locked down, what do we or watch? What does he mean, the movie Lockdown with Guy Pierce, which is. Die Hard in Space, where he's saving the president's daughter. Oh. From like 2012. It's not very good. Uh, I was really excited for it. I'm like... What's the president's daughter doing in space? I don't fucking know. Okay, right. She's in a space uh-huh. prison. Or is, she, or is she on Earth and he's in space? No, they're she's both just, in he's space. He's just sending some emails. They're both in space. Oh, uh, cool. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think, though? Of Tiger King? No, oh, uh, yeah. So would you watch this on lockdown, Tiger King? I think it's one of those shows that I probably wouldn't have watched or I wouldn't have... I maybe would have watched, people would have recommended to me and I would have watched one episode and been like, I'm not overly compelled, yeah. but I'll, but I'll, and so I'll just give it up. But given that I, you know, 
we're not leaving the house. There's not any movies at the movies. I'm like, I'll watch a couple more and it builds. Yeah. If you watch the first one, you didn't really like it. Like it, like layers keep unfolding okay. about this. So it's, if, if you haven't heard about it, uh, it's about a guy named Joe Exotic. He's not, not his real name. Mm. Uh, Louis Theroux did a doc, uh, doc interview with him some years ago. Sure. But it's about a guy and he has, he owns a, he runs and owns like a big cat reserve. Yes. In like middle America. And he's insane or everybody else is insane? Everybody's insane in this. Yeah, no, cool. Nobody's sane and nobody's, you might be like, what happens is usually a character's introduced mm. and you go, I might root for this character because they seem better than the previous character. Yeah. And then in very short order, you realise they are not better than the previous character. They're worse. <laughs> and then another character shows up and you're like, maybe. <laughs> and then after a while, you're like, oh, man, oh I've been burned before though. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's, so there's it's a lot of stuff unfolds. Ending. I don't know how much, you know, and also since then, because it's been something of a hit, yeah. you know, the people who were interviewed and, and were part of it have, have all come out and said, well, I, you know, this, that's, I wasn't portrayed accurately or what yeah, have yeah, you. Yeah. So there's, there's a lot of drama, but it's, it's, but they're all keeping tigers. Yeah, so I reckon about bad, yeah, right? I reckon about two episodes in, you'll be like, "This is very compelling and it's okay, sane." Great, I will watch it. Yeah, I was planning on. Cool. Well, I read uh, Batman Universe by Brian Michael Bendis and Nick Darrington. Oh, uh, it just wrapped up. It was like a Walmart book, I think. A Walmart book. Yeah, it was exclusively. Oh, so it's like, I don't know. how did you get it? We don't have any Walmarts here. Digitally, obviously, oh. with digital. Comics. Oh, you went to digital Walmart. Digital Walmart. Yes. Yeah. Nice. nice. I went on a virtual tour of the store. Oh, I scanned that's those incredible. shelves. Yeah, I, I was fo- well actually because I read the first issue like way like last year, so I say yeah, way yeah. back like November. But Sal from Comic Pop was putting up some recommendations on his on his Twitter, and I saw it yeah. again. I'm like, oh, I should finish that. So it starts as like a Batman detective story about him getting a Fabergé egg. And then it just fucking spirals oh. and it keeps getting weirder and weirder. And, and like, he keeps teaming up with characters you wouldn't expect. And oh. it's just fucking awesome. Sounds like the Tiger King of comic books. Yeah. You should watch it. It's gr- Watch it. You should watch <laughs> Tiger King when you've done with that, which oh, yeah. you are. Okay. Read Batman universe. Okay. It's also, it's also fun. It's like a fun Batman right. story. Yeah. Oh. It's great. There you go. Mm. I read some comics as well this week. Mm. I read, I caught up on the dynamite comics, James Bond comics. Oh yeah. I, read I a gave few, up on those a while I read ago. a few back in the day and it's been sort of different creative teams. Yeah. It, they usually do like six issues each and then sort of move on. Yeah. It's good. It's yeah. like a, it's a sort of modern day book James Bond. Someone's got robot hands. Felix Leiter has a robot hand. Yeah. Doesn't some v- villains have robot hands in one of those? Some people have robot hands. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 I've read some So of it's that. sort of like it's, it's not as uh, it's not as flashy, you know, spectacular yeah. as the movies. It's espionage. It's more espionage. It's more kind of like your hard-boiled espionage. It's more kind of grounded in reality. But like it's a still hard-boiled some, egg. Yeah, but there's still like you know, sort of larger than life villains and yeah. and what it's have a you. Prequel series, isn't there? Like in the war or something as well. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, yeah and right. there's like a Money Penny spinoff and an M spinoff. Yeah, right. And and, and it's obviously not Felix really Lighter spinoff. Obviously, it's not really connected to the movies, is it? It's like it's not own at all. Kind no, of thing. no, yeah. no. But he's known, like he's a secret agent, or like he doesn't, he doesn't start and they're like introducing James Bond. He's the no, new it's agent. just like it's, it's just into it. Yeah. It's basically like, hey, you know the character from the books. Yeah, it's it's, it's that version. You know, Terrifico. It's it is Terrifico. Terrifico enough for you to play the next theme song? No, because I have another recommendation. I have, a, I have recommendation. another recommendation. I would like to. It's mm. it's not a recommendation, but I did watch the first episode of it, uh, and I just wanted to know what people think of it if you've, okay. if you've watched the whole thing. Uh, Amazon Prime has a series called Tales from the Loop. Right, it's come okay. out. And it's a series that is based on artwork. There's, a, I think I may, maybe I've mentioned this to you off air, but there's this artist called Simon Stallenhag. Yeah. And he does these sort of, he started his career doing sort of like naturalistic paintings of, of you know, rivers and streams oh, and mountains cool. and stuff. Yeah. And so, but basically then he was introduced to Ralph McQuarrie's Star Wars art. Yeah. And then he started integrating just weird stuff into Yeah, this it'd be looks like a, awesome. it'd be like it'd be like you you'll see a picture of his and it's like two kids in a stream, yeah. like they're fishing, but there's also like this giant like power loader robot behind it. Yes. Them. And it's sort of and he's released a couple of books and it, it, there's not really a story behind it, but it's mm. just sort of you you make your own story. Yeah. And the idea is basically that cuz he's Swedish mm. that there's a sometime maybe in the 70s these Swedish scientists started up a reactor called the Loop, yeah, and just weird stuff started happening, right? Okay, and, that, and it's just it's just life now in Sweden where just you, you live with weird stuff happening. Did you like the first episode? I found it kind of boring. Okay, so the reviews aren't great, yeah, but they're it's sixty eight percent Rotten Tomatoes, so it's yeah, very slow. Okay, and yeah, 
Apparently, um, Devs is really good. I've heard that. It's got uh, Alex, Nick Offerman in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the dude who wrote Sunshine, your favourite movie. Oh, yeah. So I really want to watch that. I should watch that too. Yeah, that's yeah. out here now, I think. So. It's on Foxtel, so you're going to have to use a VPN. No, but it's on, you can get it on Google Play. Can you? It's 18 bucks for the series. Yes. Uh, I was going to say, um, I will never go to Foxtel. <laughs> no, me neither. I'll die in a ditch. I'll pay any price. Unless they give us a lot of money. Then yeah, yeah, well, yeah, then yeah, we'll, we, we love them. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so it's kind of like the, the idea is interesting. Mm. And I don't really know anything about devs. Oh, yeah. I yeah. That. yeah sorry. Oh, no, I'm talking about Tales of Oh, good, good. Uh, it's kind of like the idea is interesting, but it's very kind of, I think it's an anthology series. So it's like this this week it's about a mother and a daughter and this week it's about a couple. and Oh, a couple just, of just, what? Yeah, yeah. And it looks kind of cool and there's kind of, you know, how, you know, a house is being slowly pulled up into the air through some sort of weird gravity rift or whatever and there's robots and stuff. But it's kind of, mm. I kind of just prefer the books like they because they, they're, they're cool. You make up your own. You make up your own story, and there's a role playing game. Oh, but, cool! Uh, okay, which yeah. we should you, play on this podcast. Watched, if you watch the whole thing, yeah, let me know if okay. you if you think it's if you think it's good. I will. I feel like if somebody watched the whole thing, they're going to tell you to watch the whole thing. <laughs> that's probably so true. Also, mention if you started it and then stopped. I think. Oh that's yeah, all for part sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let me know how far you got into it. I will. None for me so far. Well, just so you know. Yeah. Brutal. Cool. Letters. Yes. Letters. The classic one was letters. Oh letters. We love you. Give the bass. <laughs> If you do want to reach the show, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod on Twitter. I threw it out there on Twitter. I've been reading some tweets already on this show, but Incredible. this is from Yo Richie. Yo Richie. Also, weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com. Uh, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Richie says, how many weeks of quarantine until Wikipedia Brown has to finally watch Sin City 2? The people <laughs> need to know. Yeah. Go on. You're never going to watch it. I don't think I will. No. You're never going to watch no, it. Again, there's too many series. I've got to finish Tales from the Loop, a series mm. I won't finish. That's right. i gotta, I don't, I gotta, I got to go through. There's probably a million. I've got to finish Castlevania. I didn't finish Castlevania. I think you have to finish everything before you come back to that, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and That's yeah. never going to happen. No, never, <laughs> literally never. Unless the world never. is destroyed and then eventually you'll have it, like your iPad will have 4% battery and you're like, <laughs> well, this is the only thing I haven't watched. No, I'll get one of those hand crank charges mm. and I'll just... Get it going get and, and I'll watch 30 seconds at a time. Yeah. <laughs> charge, and charge, charge, charge. Be like, oh man, I wish podcasts are still around so I could talk about this. Right. Great movie. Mm, mm. Yes. What do you got in terms of letters? Uh, this is from August Numbat, who I who I selected because of the great name. Of course. Numbat being a, an Australian animal of some sort. Or if you're like, you fucking Numbat. It's nice. also an insult. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he says, uh, g'day fellas. Thanks for the great content. G'day. I would listen to you on my morning commute walk to work when I was living in London. And now that I've moved back to Australia this year and living in Melbourne, I still include you guys as I drive to work. Although due g'day. to coronavirus, I'm now walking to work again as I move from the kitchen to the desk in the spare bedroom. Sure, I'm sure. curious, inspired by Tallahassee and Zombieland, what food would you search for in a post-apocalyptic world? Red Rooster. You think so? Yeah, I'd go to Red Rooster and I'd try and make a flavour combo. Oh, you'd make your own? Yeah, well, I have to, they're not going to have it ready, are they? No, they're not. No, no, no. What would you go for? That's a good question. You can't, but the thing is, you can't, you can't go for something like that. You can't be no. like, I love this sandwich. I'm going to find it. No, that's you're true. not going to find you're it. You're not going to find it. Well, that's the thing. And yeah, Twinkies so, are interesting. Because they don't really last that long. It's a, well, they, that's it's a true. Myth. They don't. Yeah. Have you ever had a Twinkie? They're not great. They're awful. Yeah. When I was a kid, because... Hostess used to advertise like all their products in comic books. Yeah. I was always like, oh, Twinkies. What are these? What are Twinkies? These are incredible. And then they came to Australia. They're and Fake and weird. They're awful. Yeah. I, I hated them. I'm like, you could go to like a, like a, like a corner bakery and get something yeah. 10 times as good. I think if you took away the preservative side of, like that's that fake cream it's that fake I really cream, don't, right? I can't do. That's the point of it. You can't like you need to refrigerate that sort. Of I always thing. thought I wanted a chocolate eclair until I had one. Oh, I love fake chocolate creams. Oh, for, yeah. Well, and then you, I'm like, these are. Well, you want that's what I'm talking awful. about. You want a real cream, yeah. cho- chocolate eclair. Yeah, they're good if they're. Yeah. I mm. guess I'd look for a real cream chocolate eclair then. Sure. And it would be awful. There would be none. Yeah. I I don't know what what I what, what bloody hell what's my thing? I like fruit, but that's not very exciting, is right. it? Right. Well, really? the last fruit tree in, on earth, maybe. I've, yeah, but then it yeah nah. It'd have to be, it's got to be something like a, t- what, what's, what's like a, what's a thing that you would, like a snack that you would go, to? I really like, uh, links to a thin chocolate. Oh yeah. That's yeah. like a, like a oh, raspberry yeah, dark yeah. chocolate, which I really like. I'd like, you know what? A Kinder Bueno. <laughs> a Kinder Bueno white. Kinder Bueno. Yeah, Bueno. Okay. It's like a bar. Not a huge white chocolate. Yeah, well. Fan. You will be once you have a Kinder Bueno. I'll be on board. Has it got yeah. like a waffler in it or anything like that? It's got like, it just... it's got, it's got crispies. Okay. And it's got white chocolate. Okay. And it's got like a. Like a like a like a creamy inside. 
I hate lint chocolate. Do they taste anything like that? They taste nothing like that. Because I, I, when I was a teacher, mm-hmm. that was like... That was the gift you got. That was a gift. I'm yeah. like, I fucking hate lint. And then every year I'd get 30 <laughs> lint chocolates. <laughs> I'd have to re-gift or yeah, build right. or whatever. Yeah, mm. yeah. Because I never told, you know, you don't want to tell the kids that I hate lid chocolate because then the one kid brings them and then every other kid's like, you know, he said he hated lid chocolate. <laughs> so he hates you. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you just roll with it. Yeah. yeah. You, you're not really a drinker. So I wouldn't go for like wine or anything like that either. I wouldn't be yeah, like, right. oh, there's uh-huh. this whiskey that I want. And, I don't know. Fresh water would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> I guess. The end of the world. Wow. Nerd. Well, it's important, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think cho- some kind of chocolate, I'd imagine. Yeah. Kinder Bueno. Kinder Bueno. Um, Kinder, if you're out there, you want to sponsor us. What about some like- I'll take 1,000 Buenos. What about some chips, some kettle chips or something like that? Nah. You'd be salty enough. Yeah, you probably would. Mm. Fair enough. All right, yep. cool. I got another tweet though. I'm ready. Uh, it says from Adam uh, Papagua. Pap- Papagua. Papagua. Yeah. Papagua. I like it. I like it too. Uh, which I hope one- your letter, Papagua. Is as good as your name. <laughs> Which one of you is going to buckle first to give yourself a quarantine self haircut? I'm on Meso to pull out the clippers first. This isn't a problem for you though, is it? Because I do it myself. Yeah, anyway. so you're all over <laughs> it. I used to. Many have advised against it, and they're probably right. But now who's laughing? Not me. Still, my hair is getting uncomfortably long. Right. So I think I'm just going to grow it out until I. That's the option. Yeah. yeah. You've got two options in yeah. in a quarantine. It's let it grow out yep. or just shave it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I can uh, or. Have several years' experience in substandard self haircuts and do it yourself. Exactly. What I used to do. Bingo. When I had like no money. Yes. I just do like a number two on the yeah. sides and then just do a four on top. And you just kind of blend it a bit in the yeah, side yeah, right, and be right. like, whatever, this yeah. is fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you do that every three months. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what's going to happen, I guess. It's going to happen. Yeah. 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 So that's where I'm at. Yeah. There's also going to be a lot of, you know, Weird beards. Weird beards. Kids beards. walking around with weird haircuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, kid it. haircut. Absolutely. Yeah. A lot of people are going to ba- break out that vacuum attachment haircut thing. Oh, my thing. God. Yeah. Claire's like, you're going to have to cut our son's hair. And I'm like, absolutely not. No, you'll be. Leave him. This will be a couple of months. Yeah. He'll, he'll have a shaggy haircut. They're it's talking fine. about kinders going back as well, which is, I don't know what we're going to, yeah, we'll see. I'm school. We've been doing that. Okay. It's a lot. Yep. <laughs> like, yep. it's good. But, I mean, it's also they need to talk to other people. It's, yeah. Kids are social. They're, su- they're not supposed to be cooped up with their parents. That's, That's when they true. get weird. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Mm. Good question. Yeah. What else you got? We got one more? Yeah, we got one more. This is from Emilio Abusi. Great hey names. boys. G- good names all this week. Numbat, Abusi, the one mm. you said. There's a Finn. We got a Finn earlier. Yeah. I was just listening to the Endgame commentary, thank you, and when you were talking about Quill getting sick of the same 12 songs, it all clicked for me, there must not be any music in space in, in the Marvel Universe. I think it's more of a link to his past than anything else and his mum. Well, I mean, maybe, but look. You go to a, a club and you hear like a whatever. Emilio and... follows up. He's done the required okay. reading and the working out. If there was music in space, Quill would have adapted and used a better alien piece of technology alien iPod, to listen to tunes. But the fact that Quill, Quill keeps his Walkman around and is surprised when the Zune can hold like 100 songs indicate that in all his travels, he has never been in touch with an alien culture that has produced popular music or at the very least technology to listen to music on demand. That's Human culture is the only culture to have ever produced music. This explains why the Guardians are always vibing to classic tunes and why Ronin is so distracted and impressed by the dance-off to save the universe. He's literally never heard music before. That's really interesting. Makes you think. Because you you would think there'd be some alien music interspersed in I the I think Guardians. there is like clubs and stuff. Yeah, right. There's a moment. You know, remember the Probably movie with robot, they... uh, robot prostitutes? Yeah, I, I was going to say that. The, the but it's just like planet. a beat, I think. Yeah, 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 right, right. There you go. Yeah, oh, that's you'd interesting. You'd think there'd be Space Hall and Space Oats. Yeah. I know. Maybe there is. We'll find out, won't we? I think we it will. It could just be horrible screeching. Maybe that's why he doesn't like <laughs> it's it. It's true, yeah. 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 Uh, actually, I said Finn, but I hadn't actually read out his letter. It's his theory. If it's canon, then Batman has a bright yellow a bright yellow on his suit as a target with extra armor. Why would he give the Robins a colorful suit? So people shoot at them <laughs> and not him. Uh, so if so, that might explain why he goes through many. That's not a bad theory. That's not I'm a sure bad that's the- probably been, I feel like that's been covered in something, but mm. I don't know. Like he's a distraction or a, yeah, yeah. Or, or I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, probably, I mean, that, that is very true, but that also explained, we did talk about the Robins at length last week. And I think yeah. that's why, Tim Tim Drake Tim Drake Robin and and forward yeah. has like a black has black on the outside of the cape yellow and on yellow the inside, on the inside yeah. of the cape yeah. exactly uh-huh. exactly side note and final point is uh, it has been pointed out to me this week that uh, Tim Drake Robin mm. has been brought back into continuity as Robin oh how many he people have told you that a million people one, one person oh cool okay yeah. great yeah. 
Oh, that's okay. good. Okay, Thanks, well, now good. you're happy with that? Yeah, I'm very happy. Great. Oh, Terrific. End of the show. End of the show. Thank you, everybody, so much for listening through our trying times. I hope everybody's doing all right. Let us know. Yeah. Send us an email. Let us know how you're doing. Yeah. Uh, if you would like to contact us, you can go to weeklyplanetpod at Gmail, at Facebook, at Twitter, at Bandcamp. You can just subscribe to the podcast. You can tell a friend. You can leave us a nice review. James, do you have a nice review? Oh, my review? God. This is from Iruvex. <laughs> Five stars. says, most definitely not enough time in the world to die. So you can do it in app. Straight up. It yeah. really helps. That's right. This podcast has uh, the better bits and running jokes than any other TV show or podcast. My personal favorite is the Robat Batten Bat. <laughs> until, no time for di- until the No Time to Die joke took a turn when the Bond film was delayed and became, turns out we had plenty more time before that we had to, that we had to <laughs> die. I had to pause the podcast because I was laughing so much and nearly crash my car because I was on my way to work. Keep up the good work, James and May. So it could be something like that or it could be as simple as from uh, Drew just wrote, pretty good, pretty all right, five stars. We'll so take it. It ha- really helps. Either yeah. way, thank you. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You can go to planetbroadcasting.com. Uh, you can sign up to the newsletter from the great Rob Collings. You can also look at all the podcasts on the uh, Planet Broadcasting Network. Yes. I'm at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter and on Instagram. I'm Nick Maso, N-I-C-K-M-A-S-E-A-U. James, you are Mr. Sunday Movies yes. everywhere. Uh, if you would like to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies if you'd like to chuck in a buck. If you do that, you can have some say and some sway. Early stuff. You can also get... What we talk about on this podcast. Yeah, and, and also on Caravan of Garbage, and that's they true. also got there early. So if you want to see Rise of the Silver Surfer, that's going to be up on there, up there early. Oh, very uh, nice. If you want to check that out. Uh, if you can also go... Uh, you can also go to the Amazon affiliate link in our episode description, buy some stuff on Amazon. Why wouldn't you... Why can't right you? Right now, get yeah. it all delivered to your door. Just click through. Yep. Uh, through our link. That would be terrific. Uh, you can also we've also got some t-shirts on tpublic.com. Yes. We've got a USB of all the best ofs and the commentaries and all kinds of stuff. USB is what you see Thank when you. you buy one and they come to your house. Come to your house and you get it and you're like, oh, nice. That's what I see. That's right. Uh, let's see. Uh, thank you to The Brute and The Basilisk and Rackham for all our musical themes. And that's the show. That's what are we going to do next week? I don't know yet. Don't oh, know. Maybe I'll put up a thing on Patreon. We'll figure it out. Because there's there any movies coming out this week? True question. Obviously not. <laughs> Absolutely not. We could talk about my dad's got legs and now he's an elf or something. Oh, yeah. I think it's on Disney Plus now, but I'm not really that interested. <laughs> Neither am I, to be honest. We could do cats. We could talk We could talk about cats. Does anyone want that? Uh, Lindsay Ellis did a great video on cats. I didn't watch week. it because I, I, I didn't go watch fresh. any of the stuff on cats. Yeah, yeah. okay, right. Yeah. Mm. Have you, did you watch the whole video? No, but yeah. I, I'm aware it exists. Okay. So I feel uh, like if we're going to do an episode, I can't yeah. watch that because then I'll just. Yeah, yeah. I watched some. It's, it starts with yeah. the history of cats and I'm like. Okay, I'm, I can watch yeah. the history of cats without learning about cats. So Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, nice. Cats. All right, thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. Grab that Jimmy, guys. We'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want. It's up to you.